sing about Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, everybody? How we all doing? This is going to be a lot of fun. Here, real quick, I just got to change the setting. The music's going to go away for a half a second, and then we are back to the music. Come on, music, pop back up. There we go. Very nice of you. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, what is going on, everybody? Now doing? it's playing fucking twice because I had my stream open in another tab. This shit is so fucking unprofessional. Music's got me in the mood. Uh, I think tonight is going to be a fun night, everybody. I am looking forward to it. This is going to be a lot of fun. Moving some photos from my phone to the stream. Link out to everybody. Yes. The stream has begun. So good. Okay, we're going to play a couple songs and then we're going to get started today, everybody. This is going to be a lot of fun. Sending the link out to all the people that are going to be doing the surprise event later on tonight. So we are definitely looking forward to that one. Starting to see some friendly faces in here. 
How are we all doing, everybody? Some of that Kagrubin. Is that how you say this name? Kagrubin? I feel like I love this band, but every person I see wearing a Kagrubin t-shirt is a total loser. See how I can hit those high notes? Frames just went to shit for a second there. Should be back to a steady frame rate. star Pistopher. You're a star Pistopher Stanley. This song goes out to Pistopher Stanley. Suck on that, Pistopher Stanley. You said we have three viewers. Now we got four. Suck my fucking ass, bitch. You were born with SIDS? Sorry, Charlie. You gotta get out of here. No people with diseases are allowed in my chat room. Please vacate the premises. What's going on, everybody? I guess I'm just gonna have to wait to do that. I don't know. I don't know how to click on it without pulling my face up. We're gonna play one more song, then we're gonna get started anyway. If we exile people with fetal alcohol syndrome, that's like two thirds of the chat gone. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> That's right, Focus CDS. These fucking scumbags are gonna try to tell me how to live my fucking life. Fuck you.
They did the monkey. All right, after this song, we're getting it going. Get fucking hyped, idiots! We have a fucking stream to do today! We're gonna have fun! The sun to touch me, oxidizing nine turns to rust in my bloodstream. Overheated CPU mirages, nigga. I'm sleeping through the pauses in your lap to fill up the gas. No truth but love me. Figurine molded into figurehead. They replace the nicotine with in these cigarettes. Ain't a pen and spill acrylic on the internet. Watching where the sinister. This is the arsonist. You're dancing a marionette. Young Eddie Bally means dead. Your credit's still in your head. Only pickles are crowded. Collect your bounties, yeah. Cracking the poison to your wheels. Just like you in plan for your death. You left with a hand in your neck. Cap is black in a mannequin nest. Oh, yeah. Idolize. Broken grass. Obey your God and idolize the golden calf. Beautiful. Gain of blood and style is tired. I open cast a funeral. Betray your trust in private. I'm just molten glass. What's the name of the song in the chat so you guys have it? Wait for that. Wait, that's not it. Don't click that. Don't click that. Don't click that. Don't click that. Click on this. There we go. That should be good. All right, we're live. What's going on, everybody? How are we all doing? Good to see you all. Woo. Okay. I, I, I think we're going to have a fun stream today. I think we got some fun stuff planned. So we got a couple things lined up for this hour, and then what we're going to do is we're going to watch a little bit of the Keemstar show. We're going to stream snipe that. I'm going to take some callers during that time. So if you're listening, you want to call in, 7 o'clock, we're doing a call in. And that at 8 o'clock, we're doing a comedy show. So I don't know. A lot of you guys know this, but back in the day, I, I would do stand-up and kind of fucking COVID. I feel like COVID like kind of woke me up out of it because it's one of those things where you're doing stand-up every fucking night of the week. And then, you know, you're, you just get into a routine and, you know, when you get into a routine, you get kind of comfortable and you just keep doing something and you don't really think twice about what you're doing. And COVID kind of gave me this really nice opportunity to be like, what the fuck is this bullshit? First of all, if you go to a comedy show, young people do not like stand-up comedy. Young people fucking hate that shit. They like TikTok. They like Jake Paul. They like all that bullshit. They don't like fucking stand-up. So if you go to these shows, it's all like disgusting, big, fat, middle-aged couples that have a Groupon ticket. And they're super mean and stupid. So that's the type of crowd that you're around when you do stand-up. And it, it's just fucking dying out. I think stand-up is really dying out. And I really noticed that during COVID because everybody's solution, they're like, okay, we can't go out to the comedy clubs anymore. So what are we going to do? We're going to do Zoom comedy shows. And I, I mean, I just could not believe how bad Zoom comedy was. And you know what? I said, fuck it. This is not the same thing at all. Like a Zoom comedy show is not the same as doing stand-up comedy. And all the comedians are so fucking stupid. They just decided, oh, this is what we do now. And I was like, fuck this. I'm just going to transition into doing something else. So here, I'm just going to show you guys what a fucking Zoom comedy show looked like. Let's, let's try like this right here. Okay. So we'll go to small camera. Let's take a look at what a fucking Zoom comedy show looks like. And 
Hold on. I'm going to get my chat set up. If you guys are fucking writing death threats to me, I can't read them yet. Hold them for a couple minutes. Then you can say whatever the fuck you want to say about me. Oh, CJ, he's pudgy. Oh, right? Right, Pistopher Stanley? Coming in here to fuck with my day, Pistopher? I'm just trying to do a fun show for you. I don't remember what the before days felt like. What is normal? Is there even such a thing? I can't remember any of that. Um, God, I've been at home for way too long. I really need a haircut, man. With every passing day, I'm looking See, more and more also, like a carrot. Uh, this is great, too. This is what fucking comedians look like now. It's this fucking guy. No testosterone Asian men that are... T they do jokes about how they don't speak English that good. I'm sure he's nice, though. I'm sure he's nice. I vaguely remember being a stand-up comedian in the before days. Was that what I used to do? Yes, that was what I used to do. That's correct. If yeah, his whole act is about how Mao Zedong was misunderstood. Remember stand-up? It's where you tell jokes to a live audience. Oh my God. Remember, remember people, people and, and friends? friends? Everything's on Zoom oh now, isn't it? There's, there's no more live stand-up. There's no more getting into a theater and getting all germs, getting all the bacteria on each other. Everything's on Zoom now, right? You have Zoom. No, that's the thing. Everybody was trying to convince you when COVID happened that everything's all on Zoom now. We have to do everything on Zoom. It's like, okay, how about you just do something else for a little while? Like when COVID first hit, I just got really into online poker. I'm like, I'm just going to do something else. I'm not going to do a Zoom comedy show. I mean, it's like... It's just not the same thing. My The biggest problem, you're going to see this. I think later on in the video, he's going to show you what one of these like Zoom comedy shows is like. But the thing about Zoom, everybody's at equal volume. So when somebody laughs, they laugh. It's like they're laughing directly into your ear. It, it's just the most jarring, horrible way to listen to fucking stand-up in the world. Um, okay, I got the chat open. Here we go. Okay, now I can actually see you guys. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Uh, yeah, stand-up is boomer shit. Yes, exactly. Uh, not CJ's first transition. Thank you. Uh, people will still come out to see funny people. Shane Gillis sells out shows. Yeah, okay. I'm not saying that live comedy is dying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is stand-up comedy is dying. I think, yes, there's exceptions to the rules. Shane Gillis is still funny. I would say, like, Rodney Chang is still... Fun. There's a couple guys. But I would say, overall, the art form is kind of antiquated. And you could tell based on which guys are doing really good right now. I mean, it's all the people that are kind of, like, moving the ball forward, doing something beyond just getting on stage and doing comedy. I mean, look at the guys that are still doing that. It's like Tim Dillon. Tim Dillon's special fucking sucked. You know, it's like he's a podcaster now. All these guys, they're not really all that good at stand-up. All the guys that you think are really good, think about like Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn special was ass. Tim Dillon's special was dog shit. What is it? Tony Hinchcliffe has never put out a good piece of comedy in his entire life. It's antiquated. We got to start moving the ball forward. Incorporate like a laser light show, you know, fucking make it multi-dimensional. Incorporate live streaming into it. I don't know, but it's like people have been doing the same format of stand-up for like fucking 50 years now it's time to move forward it's just not working anymore parties zoom pub quizzes zoom funerals zoom stand-up doesn't feel as great as regular stand-up but i think it's the next best thing and it's the only option i have yeah that's because you're fucking stupid i mean the the thing about these people hold on hold on don't listen to my voice Technical difficulties. So, I, I mean, the thing about people like this, it's like if you do the same thing every day over and over again, eventually you start forgetting that there's other shit you could be doing. You don't have to be doing stand-up. You know, if, if what is the reason why you are doing stand-up comedy? Like, for, that that's the question I would want to ask this guy. Like, what is the point of you doing this? Is the point of you doing this... You want to build a fan base. You want to find like-minded people. You want to make people laugh. You want to, you know, connect yourself to something bigger than yourself. Well, in every single one of those scenarios, stand-up comedy is the worst thing you could be doing. There's no reason to do it. If you want to find like-minded people, I mean, it's so much easier to start a TikTok channel or like a YouTube channel. I mean, if you're trying to build a community... 
What kind of community are you building? Have you been to a stand-up show? Everybody that goes to stand-up shows are losers. It, it just doesn't make sense. And it's like, you would think COVID, coronavirus, a lockdown would fucking rattle some of these people's cages and be like, wake the fuck up. You've been doing stand-up for 10 years and you're not getting paid and you're a loser and you have five roommates and you're living in New York City for no reason. But no, it, it didn't wake them up. Nothing is going to wake these fucking crazy people up. Last week, we had a live event, a live podcast recording. Oh, yeah. If you don't know, I have a podcast called Rise to Meet You. It's a comedy podcast about Asian culture. Go right. subscribe I, on Spotify. I, it's like, and this is the thing. It's like, you want to be an Asian comic. Everything in your branding has to do with being Asian. Fuck off. By Apple Podcasts, all this stuff. But we had a live podcast event where I got to try my new jokes in front of fans of the podcast over Zoom. Which is, okay, I think it went well. And I'm going to show you the jokes I did. And you can okay, see Okay, here we go. We're going to see what a Zoom show looks down. like. But before we jump into it, our next live show is June 26. It's a Friday. So come if you're free, which you probably will be free. What are you doing? Restaurants are closed. All the clubs and bars are closed. You're just at home alone with your thoughts. Nobody wants that. Come to the live show. Go buy tickets. Click the link in the video description. And also, see I this. This is okay. So here's the idea. You know, I see all these scumbag fucking comedians who, no matter what you do, they won't fucking wake up from the trance that they're living inside. So what I'm gonna do from now on is I'm gonna book virtual stand-up comedy shows, and I'm gonna fill the audiences with as hostile as Discord people as I could find, and then I'm gonna put them through a living hell. And that's what's going on tonight at 8 p.m. And if you want to be in the audience for that, send me a message. A giveaway. So watch till the end of this video and comment down below which joke was your favorite. And I'll pick one winner to win a ticket to our next live show. And so, yeah, this is how oh, the Oh, we got Blazing Fool in the chat. It's good to see you. Um, the, the worst purchase I made this year was a 2020 daily calendar planner. Oh, yeah. So something like this. <laughs> and this is what it is. So comedians would literally peer pressure you and be like, oh, I've been, you know, I've been keeping my reps up. Stand-up comedians, they talk about doing stand-up the same way they talk about, like, doing push-ups in the gym. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm just, you know, I did, like, five reps today. They consider this the same as practicing stand-up. They thought this is the same thing. That's how fucking, like, delusional these fucking people are. I hate comedians more than fucking anything else in the world seriously i fucking hate them they're so stupid daily calendar planner so something like this <laughs> each page is a is a week see a seven i can't really see it but a seven day it's very it's very empty that's all i'm saying but i filled up a few and who is this like who is this guy is this like fucking easter you know what i mean like what is this zoom call Everybody is kind of like, kind of like cordially laughing because they don't want to offend the other person. It's like, what? What is the point of this? Why don't you just go for a walk or ride a bike or get jacked or something? The lockdown gave you the opportunity to do anything, and this is what you decide to do? This really showed me that people are living inside of a mental prison. There is nothing that you could do to release these people from the mental prison that they live inside in their fucking skulls, man. When people are so locked into doing something, some people, there's nothing you could do to convince them to change this behavior. This is what they're going to do from now on. This is the same behavior we see with addicts, alcoholics, all those fucking people. Very, it's very empty. That's all I'm saying. But I filled up Fuck a few you. entries. So I'm going to read Fuck them out you. to you. Of stuff I did. And by the way, does it, is it just me or does it still feel like March right now? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Whoa! 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 Why are you zooming in on her? She's the ugliest person I've ever seen. Look at that right, April 9th. Face. Dressed up to God. Go I fucking hate comedians. Ooh! I, I just want to inflict pain on them. Today, the people at Tesco did not appreciate it. <laughs> they told me to stop touching all the vegetables and just pick one. <laughs> I mean, the only reason they're laughing is because of the way he said, "Take the vegetable." It Pick one. Take the vegetable and pick one. But you have to touch the, the vegetables, right? Who you have to touch the vegetables. Buys an Just learn how to fucking speak English. 
oh, we get it. It's That's the other thing. It's like, this person is moving Chinese people back like at least 30 years. You know what I mean? I mean, because what? We're laughing at your dumb Chinese voice? What is the joke besides this is a dumb Chinese guy? Seriously. And I've had enough of these fucking Chinese people, man. I'm going after Doc on the radio hardcore from now on. You know? Right now, every grocery store you go to here, they have they have arrows on the floor. Oh, I love that. He calls it a hack scent. That's, that's accurate. They have arrows. You are supposed to walk along the arrows. And like who, who obeys that? There's no way. Who obeyed the arrow? I, I I won't fuck it up. IKEA has been using that arrow system for ages, and I still get lost. <laughs> uh, Temungo in the chat goes, if he spoke properly, he wouldn't have a job. Well, uh, you know, it it's actually even worse than that because he is humiliating his people for no money. This is not his job. This guy does something completely different from a, for for a job, I'm sure. And if he does do this as a living, still bad. But I think it's worse than you think it is because I think he is selling his people down the river. I mean, he, I, you're doing more damage to the Chinese than Mao Zedong. You're really like that was the last guy who really made me feel this type of way about your people. I think that's okay, you know? There's, there's some decent laughs there. And I don't care if he's not Chinese. I don't care. If he's something else, fine. Do the sound effect on yourself, Nigel. Do the Who clap. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Applause. Oh, my God. Some, this, is, this is... You know how people think, like, stand-up comedy is, like, really cool and it's, like, fun and hip and, you know, it's where all the cool... You know, the guys wearing the leather jackets with the sunglasses, smoking cigarettes and talking shit. Laughs um, there. Well, do the sound of this is this is what you get at a comedy club these days. Okay, it's not cool guys. It's not everybody razzing each other. Okay, it's fucking this. That's what it is. Done yourself, Nigel. Do the clapping yes. applause sound effect. I'm not done yet. Let me do it at the end. <laughs> okay. And there's still people. I mean, you'll go in New York and people are still talking like, "Oh yeah, I love Patrice O'Neill," and you know th these comics they tell it like it is. And then they have to pretend to be friends with this person. You know, like Luis J. Gomez has to pretend to be friends with this person. And we're supposed to think Luis J. Gomez is so cool. It's like, okay, cool people don't hang out with somebody with like a crayon thermos, okay? Do the clapping yes. applause sound effect. Yeah, look at, the, look at her background. Exactly. Ticket to ride, Scrabble. I mean, look at this fucking shit. Who the fuck is CDs? <laughs> Done yet. Let me do it at the end. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't milk the sound effects. <laughs> I think he's Japanese, by the way. <laughs> Isn't it a bit disheartening, <laughs> Evelyn, that... <laughs> See what I mean? Like, everybody laughing, they're all laughing at the exact same volume. Everybody's laughing at the exact same volume, so it's, it's so overwhelming. Like, why... Wait, uh, and I actually, maybe I can get you guys to help me out with this. Um, my my idea was to build a virtual comedy environment where um, you could do some type of spatial audio. So basically, you create a virtual room and you seat people at virtual tables that are like a, in actual distance away. So like when one person laughs, it sounds like they're fifty meters away, and you know, when another person laughs, it sounds like they're six feet away. And then that way, the laughter would blend in a nice way because you would be in a in an actual space where there's reverb and there's some type of continuity between it. But when everybody's at the exact same volume, it sounds like absolute shit. Listen. We try so hard to prepare the jokes and then the sound effects get the most laughs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we've, I mean, we've really painted our... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that lady's face in the bottom left. No. Her face is like fucking melting. <laughs> What is up with her face? We've, I mean, we've really painted ourselves into a corner with this. Do you know who that, do you know who she looks like down there? Do you guys ever play Kirby? Here, let's see this. All right, you guys ever play Kirby? Um, What is the um floating face? No, 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 no. That's not what I was thinking of. Um... Dan she, I mean, that her face looks like one of those guys that, um, 
you ever play Kirby and the, there's the guys that stand still and wait for you to stop looking and then they start following you around the mansion? That's what that her face kind of reminds me of a little bit. <laughs> we've, I mean, we've really painted ourselves into a corner with the sound effects. Yeah. It was supposed to enhance the podcast. Now it's like the best thing about the podcast. <laughs> tipster raid. What does that mean, tipster raid? People just wait for the sound effect. Oh, good news, guys. Okay, we got the raid coming in. That means I'm, I'm about to make my prank call, which is going to be insane. <laughs> tipster, thank oh, you. God. <laughs> You guys have We're fired up today. We're talking shit about comedians. Guys, tonight, if you're here, 8 o'clock tonight, I'm throwing a fake comedy show. I booked a bunch of comedians, and I'm going to fill the audience with a very hostile audience. So definitely stay here. We're going to be looking forward to that. It's going to be crazy. If you guys want to be in the audience, please send me a message. I'll try to get you in. To send you alternative remedies for coronavirus in WhatsApp messages. <laughs> yeah. My mom is like Tipster, what level of racist will your fans accept? Because we've been on at least a uh we've been on a level eight. I'm willing to take us down to like a level six or a level five, so we'll see. Oh, garlic cures coronavirus, lemon cures coronavirus. And I'm like, well, how convenient that Tipster, if you to keep this bridge going, if you need to turn me down to a level five racism, I, I will happily do it for you. The buddy. cures for coronavirus is in your kitchen, mom. <laughs> <laughs> right, scientists all over the world are scrambling to find a vaccine, and you're like, nah, let's just go to Linda's house. <laughs> no, just yeah. gargle some salt water. That's it. That's all. We okay, I think the time has come, everybody. Okay. So here is the situation here. Here is the situation. So the other day, I believe this was last Monday. My uh, <laughs> my girlfriend forced me to go to trivia night, which I absolutely fucking hate trivia. There's almost nothing in the world that I hate more than trivia. And this time I was like, whatever, I'll go to fucking trivia. I mean, I'm just being an asshole if I say no this time because I wasn't doing anything. So it's like, whatever, I'll go to trivia. We'll check this out. So, you know, it ended up being a pretty good time. I had a pretty fun time with it. Um... But only for one reason. So this was, a, it was an interesting bar. It was, uh, I'm not going to say what it was called, although they might say it over the phone. But, you know, they had like Mario Kart in the corner. They had like a, like a little old school uh, TV with like a VHS player in it. They were playing um, From Dust Till Dawn. And, you know, so it was like kind of a cool atmosphere. But right above me was a movie projector. And at first, they're playing this, like, really old-school movie from, like, the 1930s where it was showing you air travel. And I was like, okay, this is sick. But eventually, that ended, and they moved on to another movie, and they started playing some pretty fucking interesting uh, video clips here. Um, so I'm going to pull this. <laughs> I'm going to pull this on stream. You guys are going to like this. Um, okay, image. Let's see here. So, okay. There we go. All right. There it is. Okay. So, this is what popped up on the screen while I'm at trivia night with my girlfriend. It was a full ass motherfucking minstrel show. I mean, I really, I could not believe my eyes. And this is some serious, serious blackface right here, too. I mean, look at that. This is that old school blackface, by the way, where, um, what was it? Um, you know, they used to paint the lips white for some reason. I don't, I don't know, fully understand why they used to do that. But yeah, this is what I saw. So I figured I'm going to give these people a call and see what they have to say about this. Because literally, I'm at a bar, it's trivia night, and this fucking image pops up on the screen. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? All right, let's see here. No, no, so this is not level five. This is actually level zero racism because I am calling out the racism right here. So this is me being a progressive hero. So it's not what you guys think it is. Okay. All right, prank call time. Actually, this isn't even like really a prank call. It's more of like a confrontation here. Um, yeah, content just drops in front of CJ, exactly. <laughs> Um. All right, here we go. Happy to be 
Hi, how's it going? Um, is there a manager around that I could talk to really quickly? Uh, not at the moment. How may I help you? Okay, so I was attending your trivia night the other day. Um, okay. I, and I, I was watching the TV. You guys had like a big projector in front of me. And then lo and behold, on the screen, it was playing full-on blackface video. I, I was just wondering like what was up with that. It was, it was very jarring imagery. Uh, do you know blackface, like when you cover your face black to resemble black people? I showed up to the bar and they were playing videos of people in blackface. What do you mean? On a projector? That's uh, just the TV. Yeah, th I'm saying like as I was trying to play trivia, they were playing racist imagery while there were black people in the bar. I'm just curious like why you guys would think that's okay. I wasn't there. The only thing is, like, it's just the uh, direct TV we play on the screen. It's just the channels, like, whatever. Yeah, I know it's just the channel, but you guys have control over what you put on the channel, and it's like okay. we just maybe went through. One second, uh, one second. I'm going to try to find uh, maybe uh, someone is around, okay? One okay, second. thank you very much. Man, I don't know what's going on. me for one sec we're just hanging up the other line sure thank you no problem okay i think it's, it's, oh, it's up there how are you what's going on my name is scott Connolly. how's it going hi scott how are you so um just to kind of sum this up um last yeah. week i i attended your trivia night and sure. everything was going good i mean the food was great we loved the bavarian pretzel the atmosphere was awesome but then right. you know at first it was playing a video of this kind of like old school kind of like flight movie like it, it was really cool and then that yeah. movie ended and then it just started playing a bunch of movies with people with blackface on it and it was like really it was jarring stuff oh, wow. right yeah cause we so we we play um i believe the channel is called tcm so it's like 256 on direct tv um and we we just play it basically throughout the evening you know, not obviously knowing what what's scheduled and stuff like that, but we've never had, you know, an issue with that before. You know, I just thought, like, you know, especially in this era, the, the sort of BLM era, I thought it was just completely yeah. insane that you guys would be openly playing videos of racist imagery. It was insane. I couldn't uh, believe yeah, my eyes. I mean, we, we wouldn't have known, you know what I mean? It's It's not... Like I said, it's it's like we would just put on a game. I mean, here, let me let me ask you that you you sound Irish, right? You're an Irish guy. I am. I am. Okay, and now do you do you guys support BLM in Ireland? Yeah. So basically, my my business partner one is from Brazil. My other my other business partner is from Ireland. Also, you know. So I mean, we we would be very very conscious of of that. You know what I mean? We would support everything i mean i think what's happened here as i said is like 
we would not uh, have played something had we have known that that was going on. Do you know what I mean? Well, it just um, seems bizarre that you have this whole staff full of people, and you know this is all playing the, the the bar is full of black people, and none of the staff is even noticing that there's this imagery. I mean, who knows? Like maybe some people could have felt super uncomfortable because of this. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, listen, I understand. It, it is not okay. As it, like from our side of things with the staff, like that's. You know, say on a busy shift and stuff like that, where we just throw on a channel. Like, as I said, if it was football and the Giants and the news comes on, do you know what I mean? Well, uh, I mean, football, their- we're not worried about fucking Justin Trudeau showing up during football night. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is that, like, we wouldn't be tracking what's actually next in line. Do you know what I mean? Like, the TV is not something that we'd be focused on. It's more the service side of things. And obviously... Well, maybe maybe you could install like, um, you know how there's like child proofing if there's like, uh, you know, a video where like blackface shows up. Maybe you could set up like blackface restrictions on the TV. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely look into it. That's not something that, uh, as I said, we would ever want to be doing. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, because like I think the riots yeah, like really came through your store, right? Like all the BLM riots. It's like, would you want that happening again? Of course not, no. So you don't want to cause that to happen again. Of course not. And as I said, we're, we're not condoning this by any means. You know, this isn't something that, like, we're not in the... Somebody, yes, one of the staff definitely would have changed it had they have noticed what was going on, do you know what I mean? Uh, like, as I said, TCM plays like Charlotte and the Chocolate Factory. They just play black and white old school. Movies. Well, this time, it looked like this time they were playing videos from a different Chocolate Factory. I think it's it's obviously crazy that they are, do you know what I mean? And we don't condone it. And, you know, I apologize if, you know, you're offended by it. It was not our intention. We have, you know, you know, that's, that's not something we're, we're, we're obviously, you know, I think it's crazy that TCM are showing movies like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe we could get together and set up like an email campaign and get them to stop playing this type of stuff so it doesn't put your bar in hot water anymore. Yeah, it is, it is. It's crazy that that's going on. And as I said, like, it's just the TV would not be our main focus. You know, we, we don't have a planned kind of, uh, it's not movie night and we're picking movies around. And do you know that way? Like, sometimes it's like Judge Judy's on and I'm like, oh, my God, like, we got to change that. You know what I mean? If we can just spot it in time, as I said, you know. So we'll definitely be more aware of this. And again, Okay, I can I can I cut you off really quick? So... I, I have a little bit of a confession to make. I actually did like the video, and maybe next time I show up, could you make sure the blackface channel is on? What are you looking for here? I'm just trying to get a little bit of assurance. I'm trying to clear the air. I work for New York News, so I'm trying to make sure that we can write a proper story, get the right comments from the people involved. Right, so, so I, I don't understand now. I mean... You called me, as I said, I explained the situation, um, and now you're asking me something completely different, which... Well, I change... Um, am I not allowed to change my mind? Are you not allowed to change your mind? I thought this was, like, a, a proper concern here. Uh, it was, but you convinced me. You're a calm demeanor. I now see that you're a reasonable person. So, yeah. whoop de doo Yeah, well, that's... Yeah, I mean... As I said, that's, uh, I told you that we would make the effort to make sure that, that something like that doesn't come on our TVs anymore, and that's that's pretty much it, you know? Okay, uh, perfect. So I will be coming by tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, me and my friends, we, do, we did test positive today for coronavirus. Are we allowed to come in? Okay. Uh, listen, man, I, I think our, our conversation is over here. Okay, so we'll be coming by. Okay, I'll see you then. So me and my friends have coronavirus. We're coming by at 8 o'clock. I'll right. see you then. Okay, listen, let's, you know, the, the conversation's over, all right? I mean, as I said, I thought you were just a, an honest person calling me here with concerns which we're absolutely willing to address, and now it just seems that you're just like, I don't know. But you did, happened. at the end of the day, you did still play videos with blackface in it, so are, do you feel bad about that or not? It shouldn't have anything to do with what I'm saying. conversation about this okay so what steps are you going to take to fix it 
So I just told you. Okay. You said you wanted me to jump on an email with you, so like whatever. You know, like let's do that. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna be by later today. We're gonna meet up. We'll write an email, and it'll be all good. Yeah. Well, you you just notify me that you have coronavirus, right? You're positive. So. So. It would be best if you stayed away from businesses. Okay. So I can't. You're saying I can't come by because I have coronavirus. I'm not saying you can't do anything. I'm not saying you can't do anything. They're the guidelines, so they're, they're, they're online. But look, man, I, I honestly thought, I took this call because I thought that you were, like, a, an honest person that was offended by something. Now you're just looking for, I don't know, what you're trying to do here. You're trying to cause, like, controversy. So, anyway, I think I think we should, we should park it there. All right, well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Have a good rest of your night. What, what was your name again? That was Thomas. Thomas. And who do you work for? New York News. New York News. And what, what's your last name, Thomas? Payne. Payne. Okay. All right, Thomas. Okay. Have what a good one. Yeah. Take care. I wish you all- <laughs> okay, everybody. Well, that was the call. What did we all think of that? Wow. That was kind of fun. <laughs> and again, like, look at the fucking imagery that, that was popping up on the screen when I went to this place. This is for real what I was seeing. This is what we saw right here. How many we got in the chat? We got 21 people in here. <laughs> Major Thomas Payne. I don't know why Thomas Payne was the first name that I thought of, but it was. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Um, all right. So that, that was the first segment today. Uh, I am... Oh, actually, here we'll we'll move into we'll move into some short stuff because then we're going to start watching uh, the Keemstar show, which we love. Uh, that was a good one, CJ. Little does he know that pain is spelt with an exclamation point. The chocolate factory line was hilarious, yeah. Oh, man, that was a lot of fun. I don't do enough prank calls on this show. I think the prank calls are pretty good. Um, okay, so let's get right into the fear element of this show. Okay, so, you know... Um, Oh, actually, no, 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 no. What we're going to do, don't listen to the gunshots. That is all good. How many people here like Vosh? Any Vosh fans in the crowd? Any libertarian socialists in the crowd here? I fucking love Vosh. There's nobody I love more than Vosh. He is the number one person that I hate the most out of any content creator in the entire world. Uh, prank calls are better than stand-up comedy crowd work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's more of there's more of like a pressure element to it for sure. Um okay. Wait. Okay, so Vosh he did a debate with this guy named Michael Tracy, okay? So Vosh does a debate with this guy named Michael Tracy. Um and you know what? Everybody knows, like, Vosh is very autistic, and he is not really capable of figuring things out on his own. He has so much autism, he completely copies what everybody else does and uses it for his own because he has no organic understanding of emotion, communication, friendship, social awareness, or any of that type of stuff. I think Vosh is the type of guy where he reads a lot of like self-help book type things and he just does whatever these self-help things tell him to do. And I think recently he had read a self-help book that told him if he says somebody's name, then it is gonna, it'll is it make him, p- people like him or whatever. Um, wait, what's going on? So I think he read in a book if you say somebody's name, it like helps you assert your dominance or whatever. So he does this debate with this guy named Michael Tracy. And look at the title of this video here. I God bless whoever cut this together. It says, Vosh debates Michael Tracy by saying his name 156 times. And actually, I saw another video that had a separate Michael counter. And the number was way fucking higher than that. We were talking like closer... He says Michael close to 200 times in a two-hour period. Wait, so what is that? Can somebody do the math on that for me? What is 200 or, or yeah, what is 200 divided by two hours? Like, what what is a, a the Michael per hour ratio? That's what I'm trying to figure out on Vosh here. All right, let's, let's check this shit out. 
Well, I mean, I really, I couldn't even believe my ears when I heard this. Michael, 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 statements you make are profoundly retarded. Michael, 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 I am, Michael, I am unwilling. Wait, wait, Michael, Michael. I mean, it's like, I I don't know how you look at Vosh and you think that this is the guy that's going to tell me how to live my life. Look at his closet. I mean, the bisexual lighting. He's arguing with this fucking guy. He's talking down to him. He's supposed to be a serious guy. He starts talking about how he wants to take his clothes off and Michael, stuff. Michael, Michael, Michael. Michael. So he, in a two-hour period, he says Michael uh, 1.5 times per minute. Michael. That's Michael. really Michael. crazy. And, you know, that's Michael. Similar trick to try to pull to Michael. Me. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an expert on every country in the world. Michael, you can, um, are you the country? Michael, the Michael, which are the most Michael, Joe Biden Michael, why can you never just US answer a question? Into, Michael, into, you know, Michael, uh, Ukraine, Michael, Michael, from the public. What? Tracy, Let's Michael, say that does Michael, exist. Michael, Let's please, say that Michael, Would you Michael, Michael, stop, stop to Michael, calm Trump? down, Michael. For the I did not of say, Michael, Would you Michael, please, please, Michael, Michael. What's your first because name, by the way? I don't even know, but I'll, I'll keep repeating Michael. it just to... It's Michael. Ian. Echo you. Michael. It? What, Michael. What it? It's Michael. Ian. Okay. Michael. Michael. Yeah. See, I like that part right there. Michael. 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 I did not say Michael. Michael. You... See, this is like... Dude, he is so autistic. He doesn't even notice that he's doing this. Michael, please, 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 Michael. The, Michael. The What's your first because... name, by the way? I don't even know, but I'll, I'll keep repeating it just to... It's see Ian. I... Echo you. Is it? What is it? It's Ian. Okay. Michael. Michael. That's, that's Michael. Michael. I, I don't want to hear about Michael. I want to hear from you, Michael. 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 That's what's available how for could Ukraine the fact win? Because almost. <laughs> this is how countries always... work, Michael. <laughs> Michael. 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 Let me tell you how countries work. I live in Seattle with a bunch of weirdos that smell. Wait, 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 wait. Michael. 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 Can you please? For me, Michael, really. have you guys seen, I mean, have you guys seen Vosh's inner circle of people? Have you guys seen, like, Conyer? <laughs> like, Conyer or his, like, I mean, or his fucking girlfriend looks like the level one boars in World of Warcraft that you have to kill to get to level five. Michael, um, to be, Michael, so to be you, clear, so Michael, so Michael, wait, so wait, can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? Michael. You've, everything that U.S., the United States government has done since february purportedly to aid ukraine in michael achieving a victory you've supported right what the fuck are you talking about michael michael you, what do you think i'm gonna do after saying that michael no. playoffs you want to talk playoffs we'd be lucky enough to just win another game i don't know what that means or, michael <laughs> michael like michael michael you're doing it again you're trying to waste our time by pulling the topic away because michael you're slimy. michael words? Yeah, michael doing that again quit michael quit running Michael, 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 yeah. Putin yeah. is threatening the nuclear war. Michael, maybe, maybe you have encyclopedic Michael. knowledge though. Never, I can Wait till you start hearing him talk about taking his clothes off. By the way, we're only two minutes in. This is a five minute video. This is how many times that he said Michael. Really soak in the Michaelness. Throughout the, the apartment for the last week, I've just been going up to Naomi. Michael, 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 so, um, Michael, hopefully just engaging Michael, yeah. do you yes. sleep with men? <laughs> it's like, dude, what the fuck? Sorry? Imagine thinking you're agreeing to do this like serious political debate on this uh, stream where there's thousands of people watching, and then there's this sexual deviant weirdo telling you to take your clothes off. <laughs> it would be so confusing. You sleep with men. Do I sleep with men? I do. Did it Michael, <laughs> That's, that was my favorite part too. Michael, Hopefully just engage. Michael, with you. Yeah. do you sleep yes. with men? Sorry. Do you sleep with men? Do I sleep with men? I do. <laughs> do you sleep with men? I do. Sexual activity now? Marvin, do you sleep with men? I am Vosh. I have artificially lowered my voice to sound like a daddy to all the non-binary teenagers that I'm going to have drink arsenic back in a couple of years from uh, now. Michael, question. Mike, Mikhail. Yeah. Quit being a snarky uh, cunt. Michael, 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 Michael,
<laughs> the way this is edited is so good. Uh, a non a non me mouse, and mind you, this person had to go through an entire two hour video and edit every time he said Michael. It probably took this person upwards of four hours to put this video together. So fucking shout outs to a non me mouse. Crimea. Michael. 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 Uh, Michael, so I'm, I'm, Michael. I'm glad you come up with that. You came up Michael. with that second in piece. Just to clarify what you're Michael. You're Michael, what, I'm what, curious. What, what was your alternative to appeasement? What Just one more appeasement, Michael. Michael? Sorry? Just one more appeasement, Michael. Michael? What the fuck do you mean one Michael? more appeasement? I was bringing up Crimea as an indication. Uh, that when an abstract concept. Michael. Has to be doing appeasement. Michael. 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 Yes. Michael. So Michael. Ian, you brought it up as a historical example of appeasement failing, correct? Histor Powerful Michael, Michael, you're spa Western Michael, nation. you're spazzing out. You need to calm down, okay? You need to listen to what you're. Oh my god, that's that's another thing that these fucking guys do. I don't know if you guys have ever argued with like a Hassan or like a Vosh fan. Their whole strategy is making you feel like you're going insane when you talk to them. They'll be like, "Are you drunk? Are you angry right now? Why are you so angry right now?" It's called uh, crazy making. That's that's the uh, the strategy. Where you make somebody feel like they're going so insane that they don't even believe their own thoughts anymore. Michael, Michael, you got rabies. <laughs> Michael, argument. What I just gradually so Michael, Michael, on this. That was Michael, but that's Michael, all you're really stop thinking about Michael. me naked and listen to what I'm saying, I, I, dude. It's like this is how is this not sexual harassment? First of all, and it's like listen, sexual harassment is fine if it's not from Vosh, but this guy is Mr. Male Feminist. I'm supposed to be you know, very woke and aware of all these uh, social stigmas and stuff. So then you're getting in a debate with a guy and you're asking him <laughs> to take his clothes off. It's like, yo, what are you Michael, doing? You got rabies. <laughs> Michael, argument what I just gradually so Michael, Michael, on this. That was Michael, but that's Michael all you really stop thinking with. about me naked and listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> Michael, Dude, what are you saying? Michael, I'm Michael, to... Michael, I'm repeating okay. something, okay? So this is yeah. not the first time I've said this. Michael, you're going in circles. You're delusional. No, you're insane. I'm, 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 See, that's what they, yeah, they're like, you're insane. You're delusional. Are you drunk? Are you angry? right now you seem like you're crazy you're unhinged and then you know i got um i i used to spend a lot of time in the vosh discord just kind of harassing these people and uh they had this thing in the vosh discord they have something called a rehab where what happens is if you say something that the community doesn't agree with then they basically put you in discord prison where somebody keeps you as your prison warden and you have to basically explain to them why what you said was wrong. And until you can convince this person that you have been rehabilitated, they will not let you back into the rest of the server. And I said that people who take Adderall are meth heads. And they kept me in that fucking rehab, I want to say, for three weeks. Talking about Michael, oh my God, did, did, Michael. Did Putin well, I, I actually, I mean, I have to double check this because, again, I'm going to wow. acknowledge if I'm not. By the way, can we acknowledge how funny it is that uh, Tipster rated us? The only video that I have on my channel about Tipster. Here, I'll show you right here. CJ Brown Tipster. Where is it? Tip. This is the name of the video. I mean, see, this is why I love Tipster because he is a nice guy. He knows that I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the one and only video that I have on my channel about Tipster, and it's titled Tipster Has an Affair with BX Bullet. And he just doesn't care. Tipster's like a normal guy. He's got other shit going on. He doesn't need to be concerned about some idiot named CJ Brown. Michael. Certain of my recollection. I don't, I don't think... I don't think uh, Michael! Michael! Uh, I mean, Michael. I, 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 I'm actually fascinated on who watches you on a regular basis. I mean, you're an interesting guy. Yeah, I'll tell you who watches Vosh on a regular basis. Extremely mentally ill people. Very, very mentally ill. Um, a lot of people with, like, it, it's pronouns in their uh, fucking... <laughs> in their Discord bio. Oh, what pronouns do you go by? It, it's? I'm a bug? I'm a bug person? You know, back in the day, people would say that stuff as like a joke. You know, oh, in the future, people are going to start identifying as bugs. No, they they exist now. They're all in Vosh's Discord. That's where they hang out. Really Michael, the times, Michael, I don't, I don't really Michael, or something Michael, like that. Michael, yeah, Michael, yeah, Michael, why World War II Michael, need to be critically examined because they're always using these ridiculous Michael, ways. But go ahead, yeah. So 
Wait, wait Michael. Wait, yes, Michael. Michael. I don't know if you've read like the oh my manifestos God. around 9 Michael. But that's Serves you right for having a Discord account as an adult. I uh, couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. You're not an idiot, CJ. You're a very stable genius. <laughs> Michael. Michael. When you, Michael. 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 I'm wary about more. Michael. Take your shirt off. Putin. Check in the mail. Michael. Take take your shirt off, Michael. Here, this is this is here. Let me try to find some horror music right here. Here, I'm gonna do an impression of Vosh. Um, here horror music okay let's check this shit out damn the stream is popping right now thank you guys for coming by michael please take your shirt off michael michael do you sleep with men michael i'm a libertarian socialist you're gonna take your clothes off you know me michael 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 Michael! Michael! Take your clothes off, Michael. 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 Michael! Woo! And that's my Vosh impression. Michael, take I, you your know, shirt off. Michael. Take my shirt off. I actually do enjoy uh, the back and forth with you. I don't take any of it personally. And actually, it's helpful to sometimes, you know, illuminate certain uh, points of contention. So I, I, I appreciate you having me on. I wish I could say it's mutual, but I genuinely hate you. I think you're evil, and I don't think that you believe anything you've talked about here. <laughs> so I, fucking that's funny. Where, uh, that's where I guess we also differ. Maybe we can wrap it up on that. You hate me and think I don't believe anything I'm saying, where I don't believe that about you. That's a point of differentiation between us. Yeah, well, that's fine. That would be like a piece of shit and a human looking at each other, and they, I imagine, would have respectively different opinions on the smell of the other. Okay. Oh my god! Like this, I mean, the way this guy talks to people is crazy. Um, and the thing is, it's like, okay, so that's how he talks to Michael Tracy over the internet. Here, look at this, Vosh, uh, Charlie Kirk. Like, look at look at how he talks to Charlie Kirk when he's actually in a room with somebody. He's such a spineless sack of fucking shit. Like, look at how friendly and nice he's being when he's in person and surrounded by Tim Pool on his compound in the middle of the woods with fucking guns and shit. It's harmful in the same way that traditional segregation is, but I also think that it incentivizes bad types of socialization where the way that you get a reprieve... Oh, my God. And look, look at the look of this fucking guy. He's wearing a white... Like, what? what it's a, like a white denim shirt. He's got a ponytail... This guy thinks he's a fucking Shogun warrior. The faults of society is to find comfort in people of your own race. Maybe that incentivizes some bad stuff. In my university, we had safe spaces, but you know what they were? They were like chilled, like coffee break rooms behind like Where'd the- Where'd you go? Latin. I went to Humboldt State. Okay. Um, and, and that, by the way, should tell you everything that you need to know about Vosh right there. He went to Humboldt State. Is that the school where they had all those fucking riots with- um, with uh, Barry Weinstein or whatever. Like right behind there. And like anyone could go in there, whatever. Just the only thing that they asked was that you not be like a dick. <laughs> but as long as you met that qualification, that was fine. That to me, that's a good safe space. Maybe that works. You know? listen, listen to him downplaying all his stuff. Safe. Oh, well, actually, safe spaces are really not as uh, threatening as you would think. And in fact, Mr. Charlie Kirk, you would be welcome to join. We would love to have you in there. Meanwhile, Vosh gets back to his home in Seattle where, you know, fucking... All the freaks live in his apartment. By the way, he pays for people to live in his apartment with him. So you can only imagine the mental abuse that he puts these people through. Every month, Vosh pays the rent, and he holds it over their heads, and he will never let them forget about that. But when he goes back home to Seattle, right here he's all nice, he's friendly. When he goes home, Charlie Kirk deserves to be put in a wood chipper. He should be killed. He's a fascist in insurrectionist. So just have to... And it's like... Have that same fucking energy when you see somebody in person. It's really not that hard. Being mean to people in person isn't that bad. Just get used to it. Live in New York, yeah. More. Go it's, for it, please. Yeah, no, so hit me. I, I, I just, I think this is actually really helpful. So how about um, reparations for slavery? And of course, you know, since you guys are new to CJ, we're, we're going to see... Um, 
Bosch live debate. We're going to watch him. This is a classic. Anybody that's been around the CJ stream knows how much we love this video. Vosh has a dream. He's always wanted to be a stand-up comedian. That's always been Vosh's dream. I'll try to find the clips at some point, but I've heard Vosh multiple times say how his main inspiration is stand-up comedy and how he grew up, he loved George Carlin, and he loved all these great comedian performers. So he himself always wanted to be a comedian. So we, we watched him do a live debate, and he tried some live jokes, and this is how they go. Yeah. Cowbell, this is a throw. For, for Cowbell, this is a throwback. Um, I, I bet a Republican that Biden would win in November, and I'm still waiting on them to, uh, to yeah, to bring, it, to bring it back. No, I, I agree, though. Oh, I, no. Oh, the joke didn't work. I don't know what to do. That was the first one. I just wish I just wish do your own research didn't mean like here's the top 15 memes I saved on my Facebook page about this like highly complicated issue. This guy. No, it's actually the top 15 live streams you appreciate. Um, um oh the joke didn't work. Um I got a filibuster. How many people's solution to crime in America is well maybe people's culture should just be less crimey. Like the Ooh. <laughs> that one never gets old. Maybe people's culture should be less crimey. <laughs> I love that one. Take crime in America. How many people's solution to crime in America is, well, maybe people's culture should just be less crimey. Like, there are public officials that say that. Oh, God. Ooh, it hurts. It hurts hearing him fail so bad. So I'll post a meme with a whole idea and a link to an article. But Are there any more? Oh, and my PR manager uh, called, they said, uh, to clarify that uh, being ignorant is not actually the worst form of enslavement, just to clarify. Um, anyway, um, I don't really have... Every joke I've told bombed. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> alternative facts, I think, as the Trump administration might have called it once. Um, and this is a problem that is, is, I believe, the largest country or the largest problem in our country today. I think it is actually destroying our ability to have conversations. Um, you know, a really uncomfortable conversation you could have about January okay, 6th. Okay, and that, that's it for the Vosh segment, guys. There's the notes for today. You don't have to look at that. Nothing to see there, guys. Um, let us go to Keemstar. Let's start watching the Keemstar show, everybody. I want to see Keemstar talk about this whole uh, so we are situation with Amaranth. Deals. And by the all way, guys, right, I want to it. interject here. Keem's really nervous. He was really upset about all the hate that he got. Yeah. So that's why I'm kind of taking the reins here. By the way, if anybody wants to call in at this point, if, it, if anybody wants to call in, we're going to be taking callers. We're going to be watching some of the Keemstar show with Salvo Pancakes for the next hour. And then at 8 p.m., we're doing the Brown Town Comedy Hour um, at the beginning. But Teddy Steele's, we're still doing that. Very nervous. I'm sweating. I know you are sweating. I'm You're very absolutely sweating. Absolutely sweating. I had a panic attack uh, right before the show started. And I oh have my two God. witnesses here. I took three sips of beer. That's now, not a joke. Now yes. the panic attack is That's gone. That's not a joke. He's been. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys heard Keemstar say that, by the way? His solution to mental health is just like, drink a little bit of booze. You'll even yourself out. If that's not like a Buffalo, New York mentality, I don't know what else is. Is a very, very successful, popular uh, Twitch streamer, and she has been labeled uh, for years as a hot tub streamer. That was like her first big thing where she got very, very popular. God damn, she Keemstar would... had a panic attack before he did this. That's fucking crazy. God damn. Yes, and we, we yeah, we have the comedy fight club is coming up. Hot tub here. It's kind of silly that you don't have a hot I tub. I do have a hot tub, but it's just in my private room. Well, that's that's a bathtub. That's not a hot <laughs> well, tub. Well, whatever. It's a jacuzzi. <laughs> it's not but a let's not derail here. <laughs> okay. So, there you go, Salvo. That's a good line. This whole time, uh, <laughs> that's funny. The audience people um, thought that Amarath was single. Um, she's been very successful on Twitch. Uh, she gets a lot of donations, a lot of subs. Lots of money. Uh, she has a OnlyFans and whatnot. Um, and she cammed up exposing her husband, which was a big shock. No one knew she was married. Uh, you know, uh, people thought maybe she had a boyfriend, but a husband, that's a whole nother level. Um, and the husband, very abusive. So we're going to play a little bit of this. Roll it here, Chris. <laughs> I mean, it kind of, Keemstar kind of made it sound like he was going to play a video of, uh, 
Amaranth getting her fucking face thrown through a glass table or something. Yeah, the clip a little bit. Come on. Yeah, but I need. I have a question. So, is this just randomly happened on her stream, or did she go live specifically to cover this? So she. It's was a good live question. For a few hours. Okay. And then there's a whole segment of just got it. All okay. I'm sorry. Happened. Okay. Play the play the clip here. By the way, look at Salvo's shirt over there. I mean, this guy straight up dresses like Homer Simpson. I think Keemstar said that the other day, and I think that's so true. He wears Homer Simpson style bowling shirts. D doesn't he know that she's live? Dude, huh? Yeah, why is he talking like that? That's why, why I don't screaming at her. Right? Like what? I mean, it's so crystal clear. Like not only does Amareth have all these texts of the the threats and whatnot. Not only um that, but she's like on the phone with him and he's screaming. Like he's screaming. This should be a moment where it's like you know, this fight got too out of control. I said some horrible, crazy stuff. I'm sorry, baby. But he knows that he, he's on live stream and he's screaming. So he's so angry that it's like full mask off. Yeah. And it's like he can't be that good of a businessman because this isn't. Um, Here, hold on. Cowbell, I'm going to make you a mod right now, actually. Can you help me get rid of this fucking guy? Um, Add moderator. Okay, yeah, Cowbell's a moderator. I'm going to make some other people mods, too. For business, him acting like this for Amaranth. So very interesting that he's doing this yeah. live uh, on the stream here. Chris, roll it. Why are you pausing? You didn't ask a question. You said a statement. CJ bots in chat. We made it! Everybody! I Listen, I'm going to tell you this. My goal for a long time, I wanted to get 20 concurrent viewers... Uh, we fucking got there. We got way past there, and now we got to the point where we actually have chats. We have chat bots that are saying uh, best adult dating site. So I fucking made it, guys. We, we we finally made it to the point where we're getting harassed by robots on Twitch or on uh, YouTube. So excellent stuff. Love to see it. Love to see it. Dude, and it's like, yo, I got to say, man, like... Okay, is am I the only person that's weirded out by all this Amaranth coverage? I feel like every person and their mother, as soon as they saw um, Amaranth was having a tough time, they're like, okay, how can I turn her pain into money? And it's like, Amaranth is not, she doesn't seem like a bad person. Her content is pretty face up. It's like, it's softcore porn. I mean, she doesn't really like mince words about it. She's spending years licking microphones. But it's like, you're not a bad person because you lick a microphone and make like millions of dollars. That's totally fine. But it's like, you, you have all these fucking commentators throwing their two cents in, trying to make a bunch of money off it. it something about it just kind of does make me physically ill, to be honest. I'm going to take all the money out and only leave her with a million dollars. So that was a, a another part of the story. Got it. Okay. So... Uh, so what happens after this clip, Chris? Yeah, look at fucking Hell's Angel Keemstar over here. He looks awful with that jacket and that headband on. Not a good look, Keemstar. If you're going to wear a jacket like that, I feel like you got to wear like a full fucking cowboy hat. You know, so can Salvo please convince Keemstar to start wearing cowboy hats from now on? Can 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 we make that happen, please? Her swat. No, so he's putting out a fake tweet saying that she had him swatted. Oh. And he says that live okay. on the phone with her. That's okay. Weird. Yeah. Okay. So it's there's a lot of factors like that. There's also a couple gotcha. of extra. Gotcha. Couple okay. extra. So what's next? Is there is there anything else of the story that you think is important? Honestly, the big thing is the fact that he he literally admits like she talks about the fact that she wanted to go live with everything and that he said fuck you we're not doing that like the marriage aspect okay. that you guys keep bringing up so we can we can look at that for you guys okay so this was the tweet that chris ha has pulled up here this was kind of the catalyst for the whole uh viral moment correct chris right so the, okay. viral, the viral moment itself was her on stream with her husband sam crow gotcha. keem what does what is sam crow keem mean he's talking about like <laughs> i want to go live and tell everyone we were married perfect like, roll it here yeah. shout out to there billy the fridge and told him that it's a form of like psychological abuse and that i'm basically living in a fancy prison and then he w was changed for a bit and then the hot tub meta arose and he was like oh this is an opportunity and then he turned into an asshole again the and hot tub meta to arose commit to the grind because it was a good financial opportunity for us i've been wanting to tell people that 
Well, like, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married. Because it's like, our relationship would be better if we just stream them. And instead of fighting all the time. But no, Mr. I don't, know, I don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Do they yourself. live together? I'm done with it. All right, so... So yeah, you know, I I had the same the marriage thought. Marriage isn't public, you know. They don't want to ruin the business model. Obviously, she is getting more donations and making more money, um, pretending to be single. That, that that's just obvious, right? Sure. Everyone agrees. Is there any debate on that? I don't know. I mean, I I understand where that. Dude, where can somebody tell me where Salvo is buying these shirts? <laughs> I mean, where do they sell shirts that look like that? Seriously. What is up with the wardrobe of this show? Uh, 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 let's get into it. Okay, so let's right, go. How many to people are watching? So called right now? nuclear over a thousand. Tweets. Okay, yeah, I haven't seen any of these Keem tweets. By the way, all right, I said Amareth. This was the first one, correct? This yes, was the first one. Yes. Okay, I said Amareth told her chat about her husband. Ooh, I hope they're gonna go through the uh, the Big Joel stuff. Do you guys know about Big Joel? So there's this guy, Big Joel. We'll go back to the Keemstar in just a second here, but I, I want to show you guys Big Joel here. Check check out my boy Big Joel here. So Big Joel is what I call a friendly boy. So he's somebody that you see a lot of the you see a lot of these people in stand up comedy circles where they're like friendly guys who wear cute sweaters and they're goofy and they say puns. You know, so fun. Look, I mean, look at this fucking dork, right? Like, this is what this guy looks like. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. Oh, I, I got a Mario thing in the background. I made a tweet about the 2006 Zach. Wow, my I was kind of spot on with the voice there, wasn't I? Hey, everybody. So Hey, everybody. A few months ago, I made a tweet about the 2006 Zack Snyder film 300. So, I mean, this guy is such a fucking idiot. I mean... He went on Destiny stream and made an absolute fucking ass out of himself. The reason where this was all like during like the George Floyd BLM stuff, where um, Destiny was like the only person on the left that was saying that you shouldn't burn people's houses down. And everybody's like, you shouldn't be able to burn people's houses down. You, this guy must hate black people. And Destiny was like, what the fuck are you talking about? So this guy has the absolute fucking nerve to get on Destiny's stream and explain to Destiny why if somebody is trying to uh, destroy your livelihood and business that you uh, shouldn't be able to shoot them. And it's like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, listen to this shit. That was an hour. He saved up money for his nice fucking Harley. He's really happy with it. And then some guy shows up to his house to steal it. Why do you think that guy should be forced to just sit there and watch the guy just make off with his shit? Why should he be forced? Oh, I think he should be forced generally because... The, the the wager there, the utilitarian wager between the guy's life versus the Harley Davidson. Oh, and that's, that's another way you could tell somebody's an absolute fucking loser if they talk about utilitarianism. In which you can't, which that is great. Oh, I'm, a, I'm looking at life through the utilitarian framework. Suck my fucking ass. Larceny. I, I, I guess I don't know how I don't care about grand larceny. I don't care anything. I'm just, I'm just, in terms uh, of like, I'm just saying this that guy has traded world, hours of his life yeah, yeah, I, for this thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I think that, yeah, you should, you should probably just report that for sure rather than killing him. I don't think that that's a great idea for. Okay, I guess society. we just, I, yeah, I guess we just, I, I, I think it's a really Sorry. bad idea. So listen to that again. So he's saying, this, yeah. this guy, listen to what this fucking scum-ass piece of shit is saying right here. And really think about how fucking privileged and insane it is to say this. There, the utility force. Let, let's go back to what the full question that Destiny asked. It's like an okay. Somebody stealing a motorcycle and, and you're holding a gun and, and, and you just you just shoot him. To me, that seems like a way worse, worse society. Why, I think we should try to why, make a why do you think it seems like an okay society? So let, we're not in, let's say we're not in RoboCop land yet, where the police are 100% showing up on time to every sure, single thing, sure, solve every right, crime, right? Of course. So you've got a guy that works, um, and works and works, and he works, and he earns like $9. Oh, and mind you, this big Joel guy is one of those people who, um, of course, hates the police. So, you know, he wants to defund the police, plus you're not allowed to shoot people that are robbing you. It's like... Oh, yeah, let me just go with your worldview. That seems super chill and cool. Oh, there's no cops, and I'm not allowed to defend myself? Wow, that sounds awesome. You sold me, Mr. Friendly Sweater Boy. Oh, how do you defend yourself? Oh, just wear a, f wear a cozy sweater. 
that was an hour he saved up money for his nice fucking harley he's really happy with it and then some guy shows up to his house to steal it why do you think that guy should be forced to just sit there and watch the guy just make off with his shit why should he be forced oh i think he should be forced generally because the 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 wager there the utilitarian wager between the guy's life versus the harley davidson which you can't which that is grand larceny i i, I guess i don't know how I don't care about grand larceny everything. i don't care anything i'm just i'm just in terms uh, of like, i'm just saying this that guy has traded world, hours of his life yeah, yeah, I, for this thing yeah yeah i don't i don't i don't I, I think that yeah you should you should probably just report that for sure okay so that's what this guy's saying right like so he's saying if some fucking scumbag criminal breaks into your garage and steals your fucking Harley Davidson, you're supposed to just sit back, fucking get on your hands and knees, and just take it like a little bitch. That's what this big Joel guy says, right? So let's, you know, Keemstar has been getting people really upset on Twitter about all this uh, fucking Amaranth stuff for some reason. And really got under Big Joel's skin. Now, let's see what Big Joel had to say about all this. Okay, so Big Joel goes, Keemstar should be put down like a dog, for real. And then this guy goes, you advocating for murder? And then Big Joel goes, yee. It's like, okay, so... Help me understand the rules! What are the, what are the rules? Of the, I don't understand what the fucking rules are. So you could steal motorcycles, but you're not allowed to drink G Fuel and talk about Jake Paul. It, I mean, help me make sense of this. I don't understand. So you're, uh, if, if people throw a Molotov cocktail through your family restaurant that you've had for 100 years, <laughs> it's just stuff. You know, it's just, just let them, let bygones be bygones. But um, if you're mean to Amaranth, then you should get put down like a dog. Woof, woof. I mean, have that make some fucking sense. Let's go back to Keemstar show. I just wanted to really, I needed to explain that because that guy is such a fucking scumbag. Thing like that, right? right? What I'm implying is that, again, this was a lie to the audience. That's what I'm implying here. But Whether it, he's a genius or not, I think, mm -hmm. I think. Look, most of the the success because you know she's essentially a sex worker, right, with her, her OnlyFans, and a hot tub streamer on Twitch is that she's a very attractive girl. You know that. That's I don't most find of, her attractive at but, all. By but the way. not only is she very attractive, she mind you, Salvo was saying all the things he wants to do to Trisha Paytas. So he's saying Amaranth, no, Trisha Paytas, yes. According to her. A lot of the time, which, by the way, is the correct take husband making her stream. She says in that one clip that we just watched, we have to take advantage of this hot tub meta. So, Chris, um, I guess I'm trying to figure out because you're doing the classic Keem twist here, which I respect. But, Chris, what, what was everybody's kind of anger about Keem? <laughs> look at how much of a cutie Keem star is. So Salvo calls him out and look at this. I guess I'm trying to figure out because you're doing the classic Keem twist here, which I respect. But Chris, what what was everybody's <laughs> kind cute of of anger? These guys, they got good chemistry, man. I I think this is a good show. These guys have good like that little moment right there, cute little moment. I like that. Oh, now Jake Lucky's involved somehow. There are somehow people like Keemstar who downplay an abusive situation and somehow try to put it back on the victim. Effing weirdo. Okay, I didn't downplay it. I did a whole drama alert on Snapchat that has millions of views. Meanwhile, Jake Lucky fucking uh, got child protective services called on my boy Jay Dinks. So that guy definitely, uh, you know, he doesn't have his ducks in a row. I'll tell you that much. Them? It's both of them. They both run the business. It's him and her who decided to lie. It's both of them. So, yeah. but the brand, wait, wait. the brand wait, is your whole is, thing that uh, the brand is Amareth. That's their like company. <laughs> your whole, I love the classic Keem mince, misprodux, mispronunciation. By the way, um, Amaranth. Lie to your fans. How did you say? Especially wait, how did you just say Amaranth? If the the point of the lie, I don't think you should lie to your fans mad that they lied to their fans yes okay i don't think you should lie to your fans what? especially if the the point of the lie is to especially 
brand is Amaret. Oh, here we go. So, yeah. but the brand, <laughs> wait, wait. the brand wait, is your whole is, thing that <laughs> the brand is Amareth. That's their Amareth. The brand is Amareth. Nice pronunciation there, buddy. <laughs> he made her lie. Amareth. Yeah, okay. All right. I like Amareth. So, <laughs> he's in wrong for forcing her to lie. Regardless, she came cammed up and this lied. This is such a fucking stupid angle. You should never lie to your fans. I, okay, whatever. So the purpose of making money. Okay, so here's Getting money out of that. That's such a dumb fucking take on this. Oh, he lied to his. She lied to her fans. So fucking what? Upset. Dude, you've been selling G Fuel to your fans for a decade. How many of your fans have? fucking succumb to G Fuel poisoning because of Keemstar. There's worse things than lying. Should have communicated my points better. I really should have, all right? So I'll, I'll take some of that responsibility. But some of the Ooh, reaction... I think Keemstar feels kind of stupid about how he handled this whole Amarith situation. He's yeah. trying to say that I'm victim-blaming. I'm not victim-blaming. I'm not even... Do you know what would be hilarious? What, I, I want to start saying Amarith from now on, and I want Keemstar himself to correct me on how to say it properly. How fun would that be? To an audience. <laughs> I don't care if she lied to her audience. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> okay, do you honestly care that she lied to her audience? See, this is what I think... You thank, know what I thank you. Fucking... Fine. See, okay... This is why I'm in Salvo's camp. He fucking gets it. Thank you, Salvo. For saying that if his girl did OnlyFans, he would take a cut of it or something? Yes, I guess. I don't pay attention to any of that. I, I, I find it weird how this situation is related to what Andrew Tate was kind of saying. And some I've seen other people make so, those comparisons. So here's what I'm having a hard time That's grasping. like uh, That was like the fucking Charlie meme right there. You guys know what I'm talking about? Um, who's, who's messaging me? What's going on here? Um... The, the Charlie meme with the, the Pepe Sylvia. You know what I'm talking about? Drive up to Buffalo. It's actually more like seven hours away. This is like Keemstar talking about Amarith, Amarith and um, who's it? Like Jake Lucky and all these people. This is him fucking explaining all this stuff. Oh, and uh, uh, fucking uh, Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate's on that wall somewhere. I guess I to me is like uh like a day or you know maybe a couple days like that's a lot of time and a lot can Dude, be i mean it's like there's no way g fuel hasn't killed at least a thousand people at this point i mean there's no way that stuff is good to me the biggest red flag is any adult that drinks powdered beverages you shouldn't be drinking a powdered beverage Honestly, a regular energy drink is embarrassing enough. You shouldn't be drinking powdered beverages. I don't care if you go to the gym and it's your pre-workout. Eat a banana. Um, Edwin's requesting that we pull up the clips of her lying to the audience here. I don't know if we have Absolute those, you, you freak behavior. I'm Hasanabi. Why do you think she's lying to her Best audience? friends with Grimes, Hasanabi. So, everyone, I mean, I, that's what I've seen nonstop online is that she was claiming that she was single, and then she says in that clip... And ready to she mingle. She says in that clip that she didn't want to tell anyone that she had a husband. Well, the husband made her not tell anyone that she had a husband. Okay. All right, pull up, pull up the next uh, uh, things here. All righty, everybody. We are just about a half hour away from the Brown Town Comedy Night. Um, right now, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you guys a Discord link. If you guys want to join the Discord, we would love to have you. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there. Um, let me see here. Uh, we mostly uh, pick on one person. So what we do, uh, we find somebody and then we pick on them for a couple months and then we wear them down to the bone until they're nothing left. Um... Um, okay, let's see But here. nobody's Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have to give you guys the Discord link. Hold on a second here. There we go. Oh, my God, we got some new subs in here, too. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. Back to Salvo and Keemstar. You think two great guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally fine. I'm living with that one. And then H3, it is what it is. I don't. Yeah, I knew no. working for you was going to get that. <laughs> so you must have been have racist it. or something because they still... <laughs> Chris has been blocked, ladies so and gentlemen. You must have been Wait, racist. who did Chris get blocked by? Oh, my God. Look at this piece of shit camera they gave to Chris.
Dan Cam. Oh, oh Dan Cam. Dan Cam. Oh, Hi. Oh, How do you my feel about God. Being blocked? Uh, Look at that. Is that the fucking bathroom in the background? Look at that. That's the bathroom. That's a shower. There's a Christmas tree. Look at this fucking wood lodge that they live oh, in. Oh, Dan Cam. Dan Cam. Uh, Hi, Dan. How do, you, how do you feel about being blocked uh, by Hassan and Ethan? Yeah. He likes them secretly. Uh, I actually dislike Hassan a lot, so <laughs> it's totally fine. I'm living with that one. And then H. You know what this guy does? This fucking Chris the Narc guy. Do you guys know Chris the Narc? So Chris the Narc, for a living, what he does is he dresses like a little policeman. Here, look at Chris the Narc. He's the policeman. We can't see you? Uh-oh. Wait, no, you can see me. What are you talking about? Uh, you're full screen. Okay, that's what you meant. I see. Look at motherfucking Chris the Narc. Look at motherfucking Chris the Narc. Um, where you can look at this. You type in Chris the Narc, you can't even find him. That's bad SEL. Here, let's try making it one word. Oh, wait, no, it was the first search result. <laughs> what am I talking about? Look at this guy. Oh, the, you know, that's what everybody loves, right? The police. Yeah, I'm going to brand myself like the police and like a narc. Isn't that cool branding? Look at this. Oh, I'm going to wear, sir, yes, sir. Thank you, dramas, officer. Thank you for the Amaranth drama, and, officer. And certain types of content more than others, which is totally fine. Uh, Paul, Co Pokey struck uh, bubble. Oh, yeah, that is getting a little toasty. Damn, Pistifer was like talking shit, but now he's like helping me make sure my I don't burn my apartment down. It's a couple years back. That was a couple yeah, years back. I mean, he's wearing like an anime shirt and a police hat. It's like, come on, man. Get your fucking shit together. Don't be dressing like that. Horny. I Just, hate I hate a fucking gimmick. I hate a gimmick. Softcore porn with someone that they feel closer to, right? Well, why then why don't they turn the donations off? Why do they, they want the money. They want the money. But you wouldn't say that to like a porn star. You wouldn't be like a porn star is doing porn um, trying to be the girlfriend well, experience, I, right? I, I always thought this stuff over on Twitch belonged like on an OnlyFans a lot of or it somewhere does. else. A yeah. lot of it does. Yeah. A lot of it does. Okay, so I've here's Diorio's thing. Like, How much would I have to donate for you to drink it? <laughs> oh, Diorio continues. People got mad at your original tweet because you're not shit posting. You actually said clearly husband is abusing. She showed the text, but and shoehorn completely unrelated anti-Twitch meta commentary jargon in a weird opportunistic way. Okay, okay that That's guy. True. Uh, that I'm, I'm Nicholas Diorio. I'm in control of all the discourse. All the discourse is controlled by me, Nicholas Diorio. Nobody's allowed to do narratives that I find unworthy of being on the internet because I've, for some reason, decided that I am the gatekeeper of all things commentary. And... Um, I have a fake New York accent, and it makes no sense because I don't make any videos, but for some reason, I'm behind the scenes in everybody's ear like Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Well, I mean, Nicholas that is Diorio, weird. Man. That guy is weird. <laughs> like, what is this shoehorn completely okay. unrelated so <laughs> anti-Twitch meta commentary jargon? Like, so, shut up. Bro. Yeah, that's a, and it's like fucking this Nicholas Diorio guy. He started watching Destiny like three years ago, and now he thinks he's like the... I'm 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 in the debate sphere. I've I've successfully melded uh, commentary and politics. Their communities are now kissing ma 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 because of me. Action that he's commenting yes, on. Yes, yes, and I I do have to give props to Nicholas Diorio because he is smart to kind of articulate what I'm trying to say. That's why everybody's upset. Pull up Diorio's tweet again, please, so I can reference sure. um, someone who knows how to articulate better than me. That's why people are mad. I don't get it. It's because you're you're in a weird yeah, way. Yeah, that's because, listen, I love Keemstar to death, but this guy's a little fucking slow, okay? He doesn't, like, really, he doesn't, like, fully understand that he's doing things wrong. <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't get it, man. I mean, Keemstar is kind of like uh, uh, Lenny from Of Mice and Men. He's, like, a big fucking dumb idiot, you know? So at some point, Salvo's going to have to take him you know, behind the barn because he's going to hurt somebody. But, you know, hopefully Salvo will have set himself up properly before then. But, yeah, this is like a real Lenny George type podcast right here. Like, if I had to compare this to any other 
group of people, it's going to be Lenny and George. Some hot tub streamer if they knew she was married. Or, Wait a minute. Wait or a minute. <laughs> if they knew uh, the money was going to an abusive husband. They wouldn't be tipping. Okay. They've been scammed. That's why I call it a scam. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That the they thought they had a shot with her. Donating. So it's like uh, donating under false pretenses. These Amaranth guys should start up a whole fucking class action lawsuit. Get some fucking money. Use of dude who's threatening to kill dogs. I don't. He doesn't deserve the money. I don't disagree he with needed that. The money. The money. Oh. I don't disagree with that completely. The However, viewers little boy blue. He needed the money. Oh. I didn't know the money was not going <clears throat> to her. Let me let me add something to that though. Thank you. Uh, back in 2020, there was an apparent situation where it was found out that she was married. It flew under the radar, but there was some information out there about it. Um, I looked into it more in depth. We can't even read that chat. <laughs> My whole yeah, chat. it's just ones and twos. <laughs> like, what happens with the decipher? Is Jaden, is that Jalen, and they just use their dead name as a fucking, as their avatar or whatever? Is it is that the case? Are there trans people that don't mind getting dead names? It's like, wh why are we supporting this, like, lie to your viewers for extra money? I don't get it. Go ahead. So, Hold on. I think you need to acknowledge why people are upset because you. I my think timing was really bad. My you think that's it. Really you think bad. that's it. And <laughs> she's see, this is the thing. It's like, what? What is the point of explaining to Keemstar that he's doing something wrong? The reason we like Keemstar is because he does wrong things. We. Don't, I don't want everybody to be perfect, and you know that that's just not the type of com uh, content that I'm I'm looking to consume. I like watching people who make mistakes. I like dynamic characters. My favorite TV show over the last couple of years was uh, Succession. I love Succession. I thought it was a great show. And none of the characters are really good guys, but they're, they're great characters nonetheless. So if there's like a perfectly moral character who always makes the right decisions, I'm not going to be watching. Keemstar, let him be. Let him be. Let him be. Let him do what he wants to do. I mean, like, the guy is a fucking legend. Let him make the mistakes that he's supposed to make. Keep saying All this. Right? There's only so many fucking people on the internet that can tell you this guy is... Everybody thinks it's a joke, but Nick unironically copies everything he thinks from Destiny. Yes. Who here was watching the Homeboy Edwin stream where I called him out on that? To his face, I said... Everything that you do is downwind of destiny. Your content doesn't exist without destiny. You're not making characters in your own universe. That's something that I kind of pride myself on. Anybody that has spent time in my community knows that I spend a great deal of time kind of like building up my own characters, right? We have like Hashish. We have my relationship with BX Bullet. We have, you know, all the... I interact with these people. I try to create like sort of like a storyline, whereas like it, it's just not the same. Like the, the Nick Nicholas Diorio, he sees the characters that Destiny built in Destiny's universe, and he just fucking steals them and uses them for his own purpose. It's so lazy, and this guy has a huge following. It's like, dude, have a little bit of respect for the fact that you have all these people surrounding you that want you to make really cool content and you're fucking blowing it like why you know you have this opportunity and it's like sure maybe you don't want to like cover the normal drama topics the way that everybody else is doing and you know the way that you've been doing it for all these years but you have this channel i mean you could be doing all sorts of different shit and it feels like he doesn't even try and it's really fucking embarrassing to be honest and it's sad it's like Utilize the opportunity you have or fucking sell your channel to somebody that's going to be using it properly or something. Now, at least like see what he has to say. At least pop. When I'm talking, Chris, you yeah, better hold, mute the video I'm ASAP. Trying, hold on. When you hold see on, these juicy I'm little oh boy. too much yeah. talking. Salvo's mad. Nice you what think you they want? want to see DSP? Look at these two. They both have huge mustaches. Right. You, nobody wants to listen to DSP this I this don't want to listen to marble him. mouth freak. Actually, we need to take his own advice. If we want him to go away, we just need to stop. Watching. I was gonna talk about his toys. Papa Guts got these nice Funkos. This guy got dollar store toys behind him. Anyways, roll. Okay, play. Stop <laughs> watching Keemstar. He is toxic. Uh -oh. I'm getting a call from Hashish. Hashish, what's up?
Yo. Hashish, what's going on? Dude, you called me. What the fuck? Hello? Hashish, you called me. Everybody in, in chat start going, Hashish, Hashish, Hashish. Hold up, looking for Mike, he says. He fucking calls me and he's like, hold up, I'm looking for a mic. This fucking guy, these people have no fucking respect for me at all. Hashish just calls me in the middle of my fucking stream and then doesn't say anything. And then he goes, hold up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there he is. Okay, there yeah, he yeah, fucking yeah. is. I was good, bro. My bad. I was looking. I was literally looking for my headset. Yo, what's what's happening, man? How are you doing? Guess what I just copped. What? What'd you cop? Look at this. Let me turn my camera on. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's check this shit out. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, no. Here. No, no. Bring that closer. Show us that ring. Damn. How much did that cost? Like 10K. No. Why the fuck that is this? That, that couldn't have cost more than 30 bucks. Are you serious? It did. Dude, there's no fucking... Wait, show us again. Show us again. Damn, what is that made out of? That? That's gold at the top, and those are diamonds. And this is gold right here. Why would you buy that? Because it's fucking dope. Look at this shit. Why would you spend 10k on that? How much money do you make? Don't worry about it, CJ. Dude, how much money... I mean, Okay, so you guys don't know this. Hashish Where are you works... on mic? Wait, hold dude, up. You're on stream? I'm on stream right now. Yeah, dude, this guy What fucking... the fuck, nigga? Hey, yo, hold up. Hold up. Fuck y'all, niggas. What? Wait, I didn't know I was on stream. How did you not know? Because I just fucking turned my computer on. What do you mean? You called you me. You better warn me before I'm on stream, bro. You called me. What I just flexed on, your, I flexed on your whole fucking chat, though. Turn your camera back on. What the fuck? Fuck no. Fuck no. Why? Why not? I thought it was. I thought this was a private call, motherfucker. Dude, are you? Well, are you gonna be here for the comedy night? I We're am. Starting that in like a couple minutes. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get you all in the the live chat, and then uh, I'm gonna explain you all how this is how this is gonna work. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. Damn! Turn your. Show us that fucking ring. Let us get a good. You spent 10k on that thing. Let us get a good. Look I did. At that. There you go. You saw it. Yeah, damn. And it's like, dude, literally, if you go to my fucking, if you go to my channel, all it says is how, like, we're live. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, every post is like, we're live. Come to the stream. Come to the stream. And then you call me, and then you get mad at me because I'm streaming. That's what you just did right now. I did not know you were streaming. It's good. Okay, yeah, well, I'm so if now. you're if you're gonna be a stupid idiot, don't get fucking mad at me. Hey, hey, I'm not mad. Come, come your fucking tits, CJ. Dude, I mean, I'm okay, fine. You sounded a little upset right there. So was it good? How's how's how the people in the stream? The people, I don't know. You ask them. How are the people in the stream? How are you guys all What's doing? What's good, y'all? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Um. Yeah. What you been doing today? What you been up to? What do you What do you want these people to know? Like you got a little bit of time to shine right now. Y'all some broke ass niggas. Damn. Uh, Why are you say. gonna say that to these people? Are fucking nice. What do you mean? Why'd you call any, them friend, any friend of CJ is a friend of mine. Okay. What about people who are trans? Or what if they're from my friends too? Well, I, excluding them and Nazis. I don't fuck with those people either. Okay, so if somebody is either trans or a Nazi, you won't be friends with them. But if they're anybody else and they're friends with me, you're down. Yeah. Okay. That seems kind of strict, man. Why, why do you hate trans people so much? Do you want to suck their... <laughs> you, trying to you trying to milk some content for the stream right now? I mean, I'm just trying to understand because every time I see you talk to a trans person in my Discord... It looks like you're trying to fuck them. Okay, that's projection right there. No, this is no. Are you people in chat, trying? they can that's cooperate projection. this. They that's can cooperate projection. this. That's a fucking ever, projection. You ever see you ever see a trans person and you're like, ooh, I could get that. Hmm? You ever see a trans person and be like, ooh, I can get that. Works for me. You ever see No, that? bro. No, because that's fucking Well, how come people are calling you a chaser? Huh? How come everybody's calling you a chaser and that you go um you go cruising? 
Okay, bro. I'm not gonna fucking sell bullshit. <laughs> okay, hey, I'm CJ just, Stream. I'm just, I'm just these are all lies. Yeah. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm just fucking kidding. I'm chill out, chill out. But um, why don't why don't you uh why don't you go over some fucking videos? Here, what we're gonna do? Here, let's hop in. Let's hop in four 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 here. Um, yeah, hop in four four four. Okay, we're gonna get this show kind of started. All right, we're gonna work on getting the crowd in here. Okay. Um, at everyone, hop in 444. I'll drag you into the live show. All right, we're moving into the Brown Town Comedy Hour, everybody. There we go. All right, so Saddam, your name is Saddam now. That's a pretty interesting twist. I like that. Yeah. You go by Saddam Hussein. I have to go Saddam Hussein on your fucking chat. What do you What do you think of Saddam Hussein? I think he was a good guy. Misunderstood. Definitely misunderstood. Well, how so? Definitely. I mean, bro, he's the goat. He is. When he got sentenced to death, he laughed. That's pretty. Your cool. coward ass CJ, you would never. You know what I mean? You'd cry. I'm. A, I would. I would think about crying. He I mean, would, yeah. it's scary. Yeah, CJ wouldn't do something to get him sentenced to death, though. That's true. I think the most. Uh, the most trouble I would get myself in is I would like accidentally not pay taxes for my whole life and then th somebody will throw me in jail for a year. <laughs> I'm, that'll happen. It's going to happen at some point. I'm going to go to jail for some type of tax-related evasion. <laughs> Didn't I owe you to fucking evade those taxes? Well, I'm going to... Listen, I'm going to get myself in a really messy financial situation. Then I'm going to make my fiancé bail us out of it. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling you're gonna burn down one of like the Van Leeuwen. Like, Dude, let me tell you shopping. this: it's fucking crazy that you bought a ten thousand dollar ring. Like, why would you? Why would you do that? That was not oh, fucking ten thousand dollars, idiot. Well, how much did it cost? I said it didn't look like it cost more than thirty bucks. Is what I said. No, no, no. It didn't cost ten k. That's funny, though, that you believed it was 10K. I didn't believe. What do you mean I believed it? What the fuck? You're making up a false reality. All right, we got Jay Dinks nah, in nah, here. It was like, Yo, like Jay Dinks. Everybody, by the way, Jay Dinks, if you guys don't, <laughs> if you don't remember Jay, Jay is the fucking kid who was talking mad shit about that Fall Guys e-girl. Remember that? And then fucking, yep. um, what is it? Um, Isn't he like 10? Jake Lucky made a whole fucking stink about it. But no, J Jay, you're like, Yo, what, 13, I'm making a diss track on Jake Loki like right now. Oh shit! Wait, do you want to drop a couple bars from that diss track? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair okay, enough. Fair okay, enough. okay, okay. Um, well, okay. So I figured I I'd get Jay here because the meanest group of people that I know are um thirteen year old black kids. So I figured we oh, got to get hell. Jay Dinks in here. Am I wrong about that, Jay? I mean, come on. No, bro. I'm the perfect. Uh, I'm the perfect nigga for the... <laughs> Yo, what's the idea? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I'm done, little nigga. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're waiting on more people to filter in. Um, Once we all get in here, I'll kind of explain how we should be acting as an audience. And so we can make... So we can fucking make this as fun as possible because, you know, we, we do want these people to be trying comedy, right? Like, we want them to, like, get through their act and then we want to... Afterwards, I'm going to I'm going to go to each and every one of you or, or whoever has something to say about somebody. I'm going to let you say your piece and argue with them. So that's what that's kind of how we'll do the format. Oh, we're debating. De no, debating? we're not debating. So they're going to perform for us. So these loser stand up oh. comedians after covid, they started doing like uh, they started doing Zoom comedy shows. So a lot of them still do like virtual comedy. So I, I, I uh, posted in one of the fucking um like the New York City comedy groups, and I was like, "Oh, I'm do I'm hosting a virtual comedy show," so it's all just like wh whatever idiot I could find from these Facebook groups is the people that are going to be coming and doing this show. Oh, oh, oh hell yeah! Somebody just said CJ runs the Catboy Ranch Discord. No, Jay, listen, I kicked Jay out of here, and I just let Jay in for the night to be a part of the evening. So yeah, there's no cat, there's no Catboy Ranch activity going on here, guys. Yeah, I, I can vote for that. Jay Dinks is not in the server. See, we have evidence. So stop yeah, trying change. to pit, stop trying to act <laughs> like I am the way I look. That's all I'm gonna say about that. No. <laughs> 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 no, 
No, I remember really Stop really saying that. You look like you were touching something. <laughs> like, a, like a farmer to that tonight. I'm looking at your <laughs> outfit. <laughs> <laughs> shirt, the baseball. Dude, he's got the John Deere look going on. Wait, let's yeah. see. Ah, oh, man. Wait, we got to get par parking's got to get in here, and then we got to get Julian and Blue in here. Okay, uh, yo, join the VC. Okay, let's see if he gets that message. Um, okay, cause then I got to cause I got to keep you guys separate from the other people. Yeah. Nah, I'm saying. Um. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Get parking in here. Um. Yeah, Jay, what have you been working on? Last time I checked, people were calling, like, Child Protective Services on you and shit. Oh, yeah. Well, no one came. <laughs> Nobody came. Nobody comes to your side of town? No. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking crazy, though, man. Just because you were talking shit about an e-girl, people had to fucking, you know, start acting crazy. It was wild. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even do nothing. That's wild. Here, let's play. I'm gonna play that video. That's that's a classic. No. <laughs> Here, I've watched that, that video so many times. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh Jake Lucky. Wait, what what the fuck was the name of the girl? Oh e yo, pull the Ian in. Ian's in um Oh Ian's in? Okay. Yeah, what was the what was the name of the girl that uh Amanda's. you were shitting on? Yeah, Manders. Oh, Dirt. How can you forget that? Shut up. He's old, man. <laughs> Already developing dementia. Yeah, I kind of am. You know what's funny? So I um, what is it? I I I, I like do weird shit in my sleep. Like I, I especially when I used to drink, oh. I would like sleepwalk, and I I actually I would like cook food, eat while I was sleepwalking. So I'd wake up and I'd have a frying pan full of um pasta that's burning i was like cooking pasta on a frying pan with no water i'd wake up and ap apparently i've been i've been singing in my sleep recently which is kind of it's actually kind of nice like that's kind of uh charming i feel like it's a little scary though wait let's see here i'm sharing my screen <laughs> Shorty. Why are they deleting my shit? Bro, she is my girlfriend. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. She <laughs> so it's pretty much just that. It was just Jay fucking talking shit like fucking e-girl telling her to fuck off. And then nobody could handle it. Uh it was that was a that was a fun story. I, I just love how Keemstar got involved. Like he hates Jake Lucky so much. Keemstar actually like retweeted that whole thing, which is pretty nuts. Dude, me and me and Keemstar are gonna be friends. I'm telling you, one of these days, me and Keemstar, we're gonna fucking meet up. He's a little mad at me though because I was talking shit about Buffalo. He was very upset about that. He knows who you are, <laughs> dude. I was in a voice call with Keemstar the other day. I was on um, on God. Do you know uh, Homeboy Edwin? Bro, who are, bro? What the fuck? Or Damn, do you know? Really... Do you know like Bo Blocks? Oh yeah, yeah. You know Bo Blocks. Okay, yeah. I was in I was in a voice call with like Keemstar and like Bo Blocks and some other fucking people. Um wait, at, hold on a second. Just as like a little fucking warm up here. Wait, um Hashish, turn can you turn your camera on, please? Hashish. What? Turn on your camera. I'm gonna see I'm gonna have uh Jay Dinks roast you for a little bit. No. What? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Turn on your camera. Turn on your camera. Let's go. Come on, Dude, Hashish. why is your chat so mad that, that I'm 13? Holy shit. Well, fucking figure it out. Make oh make him make him okay good, with bitch. it. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. Jay. Oh. Jay, roast this fucking Arab. Bro. Roast this fucking Arab. <laughs> I'm fucking... <laughs> Get his ass. Let's go, little nigga. Bro, do you sleep, bro? Do I sleep? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Bro, I don't, I don't know. Look, you just, you, you ugly, man. I don't, I don't know, bro. Is that it, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro. That's it. Yeah.
Oh my god, that's a, that's a hashish W right there. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> hashish, I'll tell you this too. Hashish does not Bro, get a lot of W's, nice. dude. He looks nice as fuck, though. Like, he, he is lo- not he's nice, ugly. dude. He's, he's ugly as fuck, but he looks nice. Like dude, a nice guy? He has been yeah, talking like, about yeah, like throwing nice trans guy. people off roofs for days now. He's a fucking See, as I said, nice dude. guy. Wow, this is a fucking scary. This is a scary community that I built. I'll tell you guys that much. Holy shit! Hey, little nigga, I'll slap the shit out of you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, I I like I want my stream to be mostly adults talking about assaulting children. That's the type of stream that I'm trying to do right here. All right, guys, oh. we're getting we're getting this uh, CJ Brown comedy show going. If you guys want to join the stream, oh, hold up, hold up, do I get to crowd, roast back? Huh? Do I get to roast back? Do you get to roast back? Oh, we got parking in here. Okay, so we got another guy parking. Hello, welcome. Parking, we're roasting people. Parking, well, I mean, right parking's there. bitch ass would never turn his camera on, so. Now he, he can roast hey you with your soundboard. All he has to do is make a goat noise. Yeah, that's the What? Plan. Because you've sex not, with just, the goat. That's, that's not funny. That's not funny. Hashish, Canadian. turn your camera back on. Nah. Why? Because for what reason? Why don't <laughs> you, you turn your camera on? Turn your camera on. Uh. Oh, Anger Man's turning his. Ca- Bro, Guys, look at the mean? look I at the sound type like of people. Seven year old, they just sound cursed. I... Look at the fucking type of people that watch me. Look at Harry. Look at this. Oh my guy. god, bro, dude, nah, Harry you like rocks, you man. Children, bro. I'm gonna fuck? tell you this. Harry is good as no, fuck with the impressions. I mean, you no, first, like, you shouldn't feel safe. You're you're getting kicked out of here right when the show is over, so you're in <laughs> serious danger right now. Um, Harry, what are some of the impressions you were doing the other day? We were loving the impressions. Do your Obama oh, yeah. impression, okay? Um, what about um, Obama uh, trying to here? Let Let's think of this really quick. Um, what about? Obama threatening to rob a Krispy Kreme. All right, let's try that. The fuck? Krispy Kreme, give us all your donuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well, what, what's what's an impression you feel a little bit more confident in right now? That's a mulligan. We don't even have to remember that one. Um, let's try and think. Cowbell, get in voice chat, by the way. We could use you here. We, there's somebody in 444. Oh, we got somebody in there. Let's but see I don't know who that is. is. Shred the frets. Shred the frets. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, everybody. I'm going to get the whole crowd in here, and then mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to all the comedians. I'm going to explain that um, I guess we'll have them do two minutes each, right? So okay. we'll have them all do two minutes of comedy each. Um, and the way this is going to work when they get on, give them a round of applause. I'll be like, you know, coming to the stage, you know, somebody give them a round of applause, give them a fighting chance. And then afterwards, I'm confident that you guys will just have some opinions about it. And that's kind of how I want to do it. But be fair and give, give them a shot. You know what I mean? Give them a fucking shot. Like let them at least try, but I think you've got your um, desktop open, CJ. Shut the fuck up, asshole. You don't know shit about yeah, computers, you back fucking seat, idiot. Yeah, backseat, Harry. Come on. How do we've I get gotta, in? Uh, we've got to build them up Joy before we tear them down. Right? Oh, God. We have we have XO. XO State is going to be joining us. This is going to be crazy. Are we just going to let Shred the Frets sit in 444 forever? Um, yeah. For now, yeah. The show hasn't started yet. Yeah, I mean, he, he's Oh, wait. A... Is he a comedian? He's no, from, you, well, yeah, I think these the guys are the, those guys are the comedians. So the comedians oh, are starting shit. to filter in right now. Oh shit, he's got his cam on. <laughs> All right, so the comedians so are starting to join. We do have real comedians that are going to be performing for us. So you guys, you know, I I've put together a comedy yeah. show for you guys. So keep that in mind. Um, fuck Yo Sprala, come on Yo Sprala, get the fuck in here. Join a VC. Let's go. Come on, asshole. Let's go. Yeah, everybody roast me as warm up. Everybody say what you want. How old are you, CJ? How old are you, CJ? 29. You're 29? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you have to say about that? 29 is a good age. 
CJ, you look like Jeffrey Dahmer's older cousin who raped him and made him kill all those guys. Oh, fuck. What? Okay, <laughs> that's I like that. Okay, what about Hashish? Do you have a good roast for me? Hashish can't be talking. Let's be real. Uh, Mike Fenoya, hop in a VC. I'll drag you in. Um. Yeah, come on, Hashish. Let's go. I told you to do something. Come on, roast me. Hashish! Do it. I'm, I'm going to turn my camera on. I think his, I think his mic's dead. What is going on with this yeah, guy? My camera's on. My camera's on. Oh, there's Hashish's camera. Okay, let's see what Finally, he looks like. Finally, Hashish is back. Oh, my God. Hashish, what the fuck are you doing? You're sucking a dick on my stream right now? Is that allowed? <laughs> What the fuck was that? Oh, shit, I think, I think he accidentally right. turned it on. Oh, here we go. All right, Mike Fenoy is nice. What's up? Hello, hello. Hello, Mike Fenoy. Oh, he turned his camera back on. Oh, he did? Okay, Saddam. Oh, he turned his camera <laughs> back on. Let's see. And it's still come on his face. That's against terms of service. <laughs> Hashish, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> You're a disgusting fucking fr Is this what happens in your home country? Get CJ banned challenge Come on <laughs> The fuck man <laughs> Bro, You guys are, you you guys are fuck fucking your disgusting chat is fucking man annoying. My chat is annoying Why they... <laughs> oh. Okay you I guys got it. I so got you, it. you guys have a general <laughs> idea Of what's gonna happen here Um let us get here. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in the other channel really quick. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Hey, what's up? Not too much. Um, still waiting on a couple people. We're gonna get started really soon here. Um, so what we're gonna do? I'm getting the crowd into the other channel, and then I'm gonna start uh, dragging you guys in. I'll give you guys like sort of a, a little intro. And then we're going to be doing uh, two minutes today. Perfect. Sound good? So where, where are you guys from? What's what's your deal? So as if, what's up with you? Uh, so I live in I live in Brooklyn right now. Um, and but I, I'm from Atlanta. I grew up in Atlanta, and I just moved to Brooklyn in January, actually. Okay, you moved in January, yeah. Yeah. You like doing you like doing comedy in New York? How's that all going? Yeah, man. I, I like it here more than I did back home. I feel like I'm been more successful here and, and the scene has been more receptive to me being here than it was back home. So, I mean, I'm happy to be here for sure. Perfect. And um, we also, we have Shred the Frets. What is up? I got to say, man, a green screen background is very risky. I don't know why you would do that. That is really crazy that you gave yourself a green screen. Do what you will. Do what you will, man. Like, you know, if it's uh, whatever happens, happens. This is, this is my office, and uh, I make some of my money using this. And I'm not, uh, I could do this in my uh, my living room, but uh, uh, my lady's on, on the Oculus headset right now, and I don't want to get in her face. So, <laughs> your wife is in a VR universe right now. What does she play on the Oculus? Uh, I think she's working out right now. She's working out. At, how do you work out with a VR headset? How does that work? They have, uh, they have programs, they have uh, Supernatural, which is like flow and boxing. Uh, and, and that sort of thing. And then there's mm -hmm. other, other programs, you know? Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Um, I think, what was it? Um, I think bald boy was supposed to, I think that person, sorry, put me in live CJ. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. We're waiting on like two or three other comedians here and then like two audience members and then we're going to get started. So yeah, you guys, um, so hang out here. Um, I will start dragging you guys in one by one. We'll have you do like a two to four minute set. We'll see what happens. And then afterwards, we'll get some crowd feedback. Does that sound good? <coughs> um, yo, quick question. Yes. Is there any way I could like, is there a way I could like add a virtual background to my shit or no? Uh, add a virtual background to your shit. I don't know. Yeah, like so have you never like you've that. never used Discord before? 
No, I have, but I'm, it's been a minute. One, two. I'm not done like a video thing on Discord. It's I, I've mainly just been in. Like, well, what's the chat what's room. wrong with your background? It looks great to me. I love the okay. yeah. the dark closet and the open door, and then the hat on your bed and stuff. It looks good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's cool. I like you know. I'm just I'm used to just, my coworkers don't see this shit on Zoom, right? So I'm like, yeah. yeah. What do you What do you do for a living? Uh, I work in like tech and marketing. Tech and marketing. Why do you do stand up? What's the point? Oh man, what is the point? Ah, oh, that's. Man. I don't think I don't know. If we got enough time for that, man. That's long. Well, like, what what level are you at right now with New York comedy? Are you like grinding like the open mics right now? Like, what what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I'm doing mics and stuff, but I host a mic out here as well. I mean, I've been I've been doing comedy for like five years. I just like I'm just new to New York, but so like I still. I'm like making my name known out here on the circuit, but like I'm not new to comedy by any means. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just curious. You know, I'm always curious why people are doing this. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, it's something I fell into. Like, I never, if you would have told me at like 15, like, oh, you'll be a comedian one day, I would have been like, I mean, I guess I'm a little funny, but like, I, yeah, no, I never, this, for me, this just kind of happened. Well, when you were 15, like, you were like, oh, I, I wouldn't know I would be a comedian one day. But it's like, you know, did are you even talking about, like, doing comedy at, like, this level? Or, like, you know, you're you're getting paid to do it. and so Because I feel like those are two different things, too. You know what I mean? Because there's, yeah, like... Well, uh, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, like, you know, when I was a kid, I was, like, kind of, like, probably, like, yeah, I wanted to be, like, a football player, a rapper. You know, like, shit, like you see on tv but like i never would have guessed like comedy would end up being like the thing that i do you know right, like even right, at right. this level like i never envisioned like oh i want to be a comedian one day i know there's some people who are like that's why they do comedy they're like oh i've always wanted to be a comedian for me that was never the case it just it's something that kind of happened to me and i just got I stuck it, with got it. it got it got it um yeah, like well, that. also how long are the sets i'm getting fucking um you joined uh, we are in voice chats. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, here. Tell you what. Um, yeah, you guys hang out right here. I'll be. I'll be back in a, in a couple minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're waiting on a couple other people here. Uh, are you guys excited to see this comedy show? By the way, we got uh, EXO in here now. Are you excited for these people? To come in? <laughs> I'm the comedy. What do you mean, buddy? Yeah, well, listen, here's the deal. So these people are going to try to do two minutes of comedy for us, and afterwards we're going to give them feedback, okay? So it's going to be a lot of fun. So do You sound like me, Mullen. Let me tell you this. So we're going to let them do the comedy. So like when I say, oh, coming to the stage, blah, 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 try your best, like give them like a round of applause or whatever, and then just a listen fat, to them do comedy. Make a fat noise. I have a what voice? <laughs> N nothing the fuck did you say to me <laughs> I said you sound like Danny Mullen and I said <laughs> I'll <laughs> fap for them like I'll make a fapping noise when they join you make a fapping noise when they join <laughs> okay but yeah we're gonna get started in like five minutes I'm just gonna send out some messages and uh, then we're gonna get started okay guys bet okay bet 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 Okay, um, I'm going to take a one-song break. I'm going to message some people. I'm going to get them in here, and then we are going to get started. Up night, star bright, shines down on me. So good, so bright, you're on a sea. At times, you may find our hearts grow heavy. Wanna make it to Nirvana Play all day in bed with me And teach me how to love ya You wanna be my partner But baby please believe me Loving me ain't easy I'ma need some time with you You gon' need some time with me Who knows what we're gonna do All I hope is you don't leave All night, stop right All night Fine. 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 Fine.
heart will grow heavy. So good, so right. You're all I need. Who's that? The most beautiful girl in the whole wide world. And she's mine, oh mine. And I want her to know that my feelings show. I need time, give me time. Walking on the rooftop. Moonlight. We could cut the chit chat. I dig it when I get that. Moonlight. I'ma go get some. Time alone with you. Time alone with you. Time alone with you. All right, getting started in a minute, everybody. These comedians don't know how to use Discord! Oh yeah, should to to be fair, should I do uh, two minutes of opening comedy? God, these guys cannot figure Discord out. It's so annoying. The white man has the 
All right, I think we're just going to have to get started. I think uh, a lot of these people are going to just have to fucking figure this shit out. Um, yeah, yeah you right. guys, you guys ready to see some? Co- this might be a quick show. This might be a quick show today. We only got three of these guys in here, but uh, oh, damn, I thought you were gonna get us like a bunch of people. CJ, what the fuck, dude? I got yeah, you. Bro, a co- I got you a couple. A couple of them dropped out, man. These are unreliable people. Okay, listen, <laughs> I'm trying my best. Yeah, yeah. I got a crowd for them. <laughs> hey, six six minutes is pretty good. Six minutes is pretty good. Um, maybe, maybe I'll make them do like a very long, how much time do you guys think you could stomach from, uh, for a comedian doing comedy? Maybe five minutes? I think we six like, is pretty ever. on the mark. Should we, how, how long can you guys go, uh, before you start fucking spurging out listening to them do stand up? How long do it you depends think? On this puzzle talks. Depend, depends on how bad they are. I know that, uh, we'll see. I want to go at each other though. No, we don't. We love okay, each other. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in the other channel. Um, when I come? Uh, no, no, just stay in here, please. Um, and I'm just gonna talk to them. I'm gonna explain what's gonna happen, and then we are hey, gonna CJ. get started. What's CJ, up? What? We, have a, we have a part of the stream where we talk about Yasprala's fetish for posting massacre videos in your Discord. Sure. Fuck, yeah, we could we could talk about oh, that yeah. right I after don't. this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, hello, hello. Ooh, I'm back. What's going on, guys? Howdy. What's up? Uh, Fer- Fernandam. Uh, d- do you have a web? Do you have like a camera? Are they here? I haven't heard from them. There's a feral cat right now. Yeah. Feral yeah. cat right now. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it's what his icon is. It's just like a little. Oh, fer- cat. feral cat icon. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Uh, Fernandam, hello. His chat said, "I'm not sure my mic is working," and it is not. My not sure my mic is working. Where are they posting that? Where are they typing to you? They're, they're in the chat in Discord. If there's a chat, mm. there's a chat. Oh, for the Discord. channel, right, right, right. Open chat. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm not sure my mic is working. Hmm, interesting. Not sure my mic is working. Um. Okay, well, I'll here. I'll give you a couple minutes. I'll, I'll give you a couple minutes. I think we had a couple dropouts, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more time tonight. Okay, we got about what is it? We got like six, seven people in the crowd. Uh, maybe I'll I'll have you guys do like five minutes. Sound good? Quick, uh, quick in and out. Uh, there she is. Okay, fantastic. So we got F- Fernandam. Where's Mike's your microphone up, though? Um... What's going on with this? Where's the mic? What is going on here? Okay, check it out. Click Discord, go to Preferences, okay, and then there's a menu, App Settings, and then go to Voice and Video, and then change your input. That will help you out. Tried to do that too before, and it just gave me default as the only option. So, hopefully, and you're you're hearing us, right? You can hear us. Okay, all right, fantastic. So they can hear us. That's good. Yeah, so basically the idea behind this, uh, trying to do like a Discord-centric comedy thing where like a, a lot of the people are just like ra- random people from Discord. Like a lot of them don't really know anything about stand-up. Giving them the opportunity to see some uh, stand-up comedians perform for them. That's kind of the idea behind tonight. Just so, Just so you guys know about that. Um, somebody posted in general. Oh, that's a ring. Okay. And the mic is still not working. Is this being streamed anywhere? Or is it just here? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's being streamed right now. Um, it, it's going to be streamed to my YouTube page. So I'll, I'll hook you up with that link here. Hook you up with that link. Let's see here. Yeah. So feel free to send this link out if you would like. Um, you post it here. Hey, you do stand up yourself, yeah? Hmm? You do stand up yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Here, let's see here. Okay, there it is. Um, <clears throat> okay, Um. so I guess we'll do... Wait, what do I, what do I call you guys? So shred the frets and then as if. What do I uh what do I call you guys? I don't know what to call you. 
What are your actual? Could you type your actual names? Yeah. I'm Corey J. Feldman. Um, at Corey J. Feldman. Corey J. Feldman at Corey J. Feldman, and then as if is type in as if. Okay. Asif. Yeah, it's Asif. Asif. Oh, I thought it was yeah. like I thought it was like kind of sassy, like as if. You know what I mean? Well, you know, it's yeah, I mean, it's to make it easier for people to try to go with, but it's Asif. So you can do whatever you want. I mean, as if or Asif, either word is fine with me. Got it, got it, got it. Well, okay. Hopefully, Fernandem can figure this out at some point. But I'm going to start dragging you guys in. So we're going to do Corey J. Feldman first, and then we're going to do Asif after that. Sound good? We'll do like five minutes each? Sure. Perfect. Okay. All righty, everybody. So How long ago was we it? are in the stream. We are here. We're going to start pulling randomly. some people in here. Let me get my timer all set up here. Uh, did I scare you, Hashish? What happened? Did I scare you? It sounds like you got a little spooked right there. He left. No. She left. We, we kind of I kind of exposed him a little bit. I made him leave again, sorry. Oh, you exposed nah, okay. him? Okay. So, I mean, come on. We're trying to throw a comedy show. You can't be exposing people. But, she, um, she, she threw uh, your sprawl under the bus. We had to come back with some heat. Okay. Here, well, I'm going to drag our first person in, okay? Okay. Let's get him in here. All righty, everybody. Tonight is the Brown Town Comedy Hour. Everybody give us a round of applause. Thank you so much for showing up. Round of applause, everybody. <laughs> yes, excellent. So today we have brought some of the best comedians uh, to the scene. Uh, they're going to be performing for our Discord friends. So the concept behind this show tonight is that um, you know, there's all these people on Discord and, you know, I feel like they just don't get the opportunity to see enough stand-up comedy. So what I did, I got together a couple comedians, I'm going to have them perform, and then afterwards we're going to get feedback from the boys themselves. Which, first of all, thank you guys for being here. How we all doing? Fine. You're good? Doing good. I'm doing great. What? Now, do you guys like stand-up comedy? Is that something you enjoy? I fucking love that shit. <laughs> Who's your favorite comedian? Danny Mullen. Okay. Harry, do you like stand up comedy? What do you what, what do you yeah. like? You do, I, okay. I, I, yeah, I like uh, Lee Evans, um, Jimmy Carr, uh Young Crip is pretty good. I've seen some of his some videos of him online, you know. I I, I like the, the the offensive the the better, you know. All right. So should we start dragging these comedians in? Should we get the first one in here? Let's get this shit rumbling. Let's get this shit rumbling. All right. So now we have Asif. Asif, how are you doing? Yeah, what's up? I'm good. How y'all doing? <laughs> Dude, we're doing I'm good. Doing we're doing great, man. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, uh, we are going to have you perform five minutes of stand-up comedy for us. Uh, so excited to have you. Everybody, give it up for Asif. Yeah, yeah. Let's kick it. Yeah, what's up? How y'all doing? Thanks for being here. Thank y'all for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, like you said, my name is Asif. It's spelled A S I F, like as if. That's because my parents were clueless about what to do with me when I was born, and uh, yeah, that was nothing compared to the way they reacted when they found out I drink beer, you know. And I had to tell them, like, look, mom, dad. I don't abuse substances, okay? I nurture them. There's a difference, right? You know what I mean? Amen. Anyway, amen, right? And so, yeah, anyway, so then they sent me to therapy after that. And uh, so I was talking to my therapist recently. He's like, hey, man, were you born in 1929? Because you have Great Depression, you know? <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate the laughs. Yeah, feel free to take yourself yeah. off of yourself. Hey, y'all laugh. Sure. <laughs> there, you <go. laughs> um, there you go. Cool. We can just do that for like four minutes. That's fine with me too. I um no, so I'm I'm Indian. I'm Muslim, right? Uh, some people would describe me as devout, but I personally prefer the term extreme. And uh, <laughs> but, thank you. Yeah, my biggest fear is bombing on stage, and right now I feel like that might be your biggest fear too. You know? <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah, well, I was about to say, maybe it's not your fear, because if I bomb here, it's not your apartment, you know, so it's fine. 
fine. I um I live oh I live God. in New York. I don't know if you told you, but I live in New York. I'm in Brooklyn right now. And uh, but before Brooklyn, I lived in Atlanta. So my pronouns are he, him, y'all. Nice. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, good southern boy over here. I um anyway, let's let's try some new stuff. Anybody here like ice cream? <laughs> I yes, do. I do like ice cream. Stuff. Yeah, ice cream is great. You know, I uh, I'm a big ice cream fan. But I gotta say, uh, just to set the expectations, you know, like uh, sex with me is pretty vanilla, okay. But a <laughs> relationship with me is like rocky road. You know. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the good <laughs> shit. The good <laughs> shit. Talking right. talking. Thank you. I, um, oh, Jesus anyway. fucking Christ! There you go. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of sex, I actually I've been hooking up with this Italian chick recently, and like it's cool. Like I like having sex with her because like uh, instead of cream pies, we call them cannolis. You know. <laughs> yeah. Got him. yeah. There you go. Why do y'all got a wicked laugh, man? I don't know if that's like he plays the back from the dead or something. But, um, no, we appreciate that. So, anyway, uh, I'll say that, um, you know, on the topic of sex since we're here, right? Uh, I no longer wear condoms because they're single-use plastic, you know? I yeah, fuck, save the turtles. The huh? Save the turtles, right, save the turtles. And actually, uh, so, yeah, I was like, uh, during quarantine, I got the COVID-19, it's like the freshman 15 for four pounds extra, you know? Really, and, nigga? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, really. And as a matter of fact, actually, you know, during, during COVID, people were talking about, we got to flatten the curve, we got to flatten the curve. And I wasn't sure if they were talking about the pandemic or if they were talking about my stomach. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so try, Mega so faggot. To... <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. And um, let's see. I, but I'll say so. I was on the dating apps, you know, during COVID, right? Oh, like the I apps, of course, the apps. Of yeah. course, yeah. Oh, I got go. an app joke for y'all, so I'll tell y'all this. I, was on the dating I, I love apps. And um, I was on the app, and I I matched this girl, right? And so, like, I know I got a minute left, so I'll wrap this up. So I um, I was on the app, I matched with this girl, you know. And for our first date, like it, like we did the FaceTime thing, and it's cool because like I cooked for her. And I ate all the food myself. You know what I mean? Hell right? yeah. And then, uh, so I end here. So uh, so the second date, I met up with this chick, right? And I was like, I was going to meet up with her. So I told my roommate, I said, hey, man, I'm going to go meet this girl up. And he's like, I don't know, man. This sounds like a catfish situation. And I said, dude, I don't mind if she's a catfish as long as she's a blowfish, too. There you go. Holds anyway, that's my time, so I appreciate y'all hanging out. Oh my god. Okay. Well, all right. Give it up for Asif, everybody. I mean, Elliot. holy yeah. moly. Yeah. What did we think of that? Let's get some thoughts. What did you guys Ooh, think? Sucks. Maybe Yo Sprala, what do you think of all that? Well, I was enjoying it, but after I heard he was Muslim, I just couldn't stop thinking of Pedophile. Mega faggot. Wait, what is that? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, Judy. I think, I believe you think that would be the case if I was Catholic. You know? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Well, Catholics too, but you said you were Muslim, so my mind just went there. Okay, well, what did you think of what? What did you think of his jokes, man? I mean, come on, he's Muslim. Don't you're gonna hold that against him, dude? You think we're All doing right, this I'll, comedy I'll show there. in Mecca? We're doing this in fucking in Discord. His jokes are pretty good. His jokes are pretty good. You got yeah, me yeah, there. Yeah, some of them are good. Oh, wow. thank you. I will say that Judy wants to be let in, and you're on your be right back screen on YouTube, uh, CJ. Oh yeah. shit! Okay, we didn't even see any of that. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Uh, perfect though. Here, let's see here. Um, oh, we got Julian. He's coming in. Julian, what's up, buddy? Oh. Yo, what's up, buddies? All Yo, right, so this guy just performed. Away from my friend. This guy just performed two minutes of uh, five minutes of stand-up comedy for us. What do we What do we think of this guy? Just look at his face. Give us some impressions, Julian. What do you think of this guy, Asif? I um, think he's nice. First, he looks like a darker version of me, to be honest, and I kind of respect him for that. 
more handsome version of you too. A little bit more handsome. I agree with that. But what do you think? Well, I didn't watch it, but I can tell you right now, I probably didn't laugh. So that's a solid <laughs> six out of ten. All right. Well, listen, Oz, you're getting higher praises than I thought you would, Oz. If you actually fucking killed it, congratulations, hey, man. Listen, there's going to be a vote at some point, and there's going to be a big cash prize. So I'll let you know if you won. So couple grand, couple couple of grand. Okay. All right. Take it easy, man. Was that asked? Okay. <laughs> all right. All righty. So we got our next comedian in here. Everybody, how you doing today? Let me pull up your name here. Okay, so this is Corey J. Feldman coming to the stage. Hey, pipe, 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 pipe. Where's Corey J. Feld? Where is he? Fred the front, he's just... Corey J. Feldman. What's going Yo. on, buddy? Kirby hat. What's up? How we doing, guys? How we doing? Hey, Yo, what's up? welcome to the Brown Town Comedy Hour. How are you <gasps> doing today? Been fantastic. Am I on video too, or is this just audio? No, turn, 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 turn on your, your video, video on. please. <laughs> turn Where your video on. Video? I see joined. I want to see your hat. See. Hold on. Turn on camera. There we go. Here we go. Let's see it. Yeah. Oh my hey. god. Me right can you, there. Can you make your green screen um something Where? cool? I don't. I don't have the wait, ability wait. to do that. It's my first. <laughs> wait, is this blue? Is this blue? Is this blue? <laughs> it's blue. Oh, it's not blue. <laughs> okay. Well. Tell you what, buddy, you are a kooky, kooky guy. I am excited I give for ten. you to do some comedy for us. I'm going to set my timer to five minutes. Then we're going to get some stand-up comedy from Mike Feldman. Okay, whenever you're ready, Mike Feldman, everybody. Just give him the cash now. It's uh, it's Corey J. Feldman, by the way. Corey J. Feldman. So I'm just going just gonna to throw it out there. I'm uh, not the other Corey Feldman. I'm Corey J. Feldman for posterity's sake. But yeah, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. Uh, I look like a toddler whose mom let him dress himself for the morning. It's uh, it's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> you know? yep. uh, I'm a child at heart, okay? That's it's kind of my vibe. And uh, I don't know if you can also tell by looking at me, but there's something that I really hate. And uh, that's working out. Yeah, I despise exercise. I am not liking biking. I am shutting running. And if I have to lift, I am miffed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Just give him the money. This fucking guy. Are you kidding me? I hate exercise for the same reason that I hate war and poverty and reality TV and country music. It's because I hate, you know, suffering. <laughs> Yeah, that's all exercise is, if you think about it. It's suffering now to prevent the inevitable suffering later. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if anybody out there is actually a, a good exercise person. You like exercising. But if you are, you know what I call you? A procrastinator. You're procrastinating heart disease. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I ain't putting uh, that shit on. No, no, no. I stay. What? It's a murder. It's a murder. Hey. Listen, it's the fat guy journey, not the fat guy destination, all right? Even if the destination is Okay? <laughs> Diabetes is the destination. It's amazing. Now listen, listen, listen. I also hate exercising with other people, so I have no accountability. Because if I'm suffering, I prefer to suffer alone. Yeah, I, I can't have anybody see me suffering. Ugh, oh my god. No, 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 no. Well, physically, that is. If I'm not... I'm suffering emotionally. Whoa, whoa, chill, chill, chill. Parker, chill. Parker, what the fuck, man? No, no, no. If I'm suffering emotionally, everybody's got to know about it. If I'm emotionally, I'll tell, I'll tell you, you random people on the internet. I'll tell my fiance, my brother, my sisters, my mom, my dad, my therapist, my grandma, my dentist, my Uber driver, the guy at the deli making me a sandwich, and of course, that naive college student who keeps calling me asking <laughs> for donations, even though I'm still in student debt. <laughs> Seriously, Kara <laughs> from NYU, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. She calls me up, she's like, hi, this is Sarah from NYU. I'm calling to see if you'd like to make a donation for as little as $25 as an NYU alumnus. And I'm like, no, Sarah, I would not like to make a donation for $25. I don't have $25. But you know what I do have is crippling college loans and a compulsive overeating disorder that started at age two when my uncles used to blend up White Castle sliders into edible napalm and then feed it to me through a toddler straw. <laughs> <laughs> Really, nigga? Sarah <laughs> had nothing to say to that, okay? And, uh, well, 
This is a true story. I was at a wedding recently, and my uncle Brian comes up to me. He's like, you know, when you was just a little kid, me and Uncle Jeff, we used to go to uh, we used to go to White Castle, grab a bunch of those tiny burgers, we bring it home, and blend it into a smoothie, and give it to you to drink in a sippy cup. And I was like, <laughs> wait, are you? Are you serious? You goddamn right, I'm serious. Wait, you used to feed me liquid White Castle. It was hilarious. Could you just have molested me like a normal uncle? God damn. Uh, wow. Oh, you suck. You. Suck. I liked it. That's messed up. Uh, it? He's still I mean, got now, more time. He's got more time. This is the only way I know how to drink any sort of fucking fast food is by liquefying. That's what I do. When I go to McDonald's, you know what I get? I get a big Mac flurry. Yeah, yeah. Mega faggot. <laughs> Big Mac flurry. Yeah, fuck Oreos. Give me uh, milk, ice cream, two Albi patties, lettuce, cheese, onions, pickles, special sauce on a sesame seed bun. Woohoo! Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. MJ sucks. Parky, you just don't get it. Not the fat guy destination, okay? All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, and you know. I do a lot of fat things. I do a lot of fat. Well, can I say that? I feel like that's offensive. Saying I do fat that's things. It. Like I said it out loud, and I felt like I was gonna get canceled. But like, I identify as fat. You know, like that's our word. You know, what I, mean? <laughs> I represent the fat as the community. You know. Well, I mean, I guess I could be more. Sensitive. I could say, um, I don't know. Uh, Pleasantly plump, plus sized, beefy, bulky, big boned, chubby, chunky, flabby, heavy, hefty, husky, soft, thick, stout, pot belly, gravity stricken, or horizontally challenged. Fuck that. I'm fat, man. I'm fucking fat, dude. I'm not horizontally challenged. That is too many syllables <laughs> and not enough calories for these fat fucking lips. Look at these fucking lips right here. See these lips? They have taken down an entire pepperoni pizza on more than one occasion. The key is to fold it in half. And get the, that pepperoni and like Italian cheese taco. If it's half the size, half the time, it's basically a quarter of the food. That's the fat guy logic. It's the fat guy journey, not the fat guy destination. I'm Corey J. Feldman. What's up? Corey, you oh. rock. <laughs> oh, Corey, you are my favorite. Oh, I think my you might get God. the three grand. Okay, <laughs> we need to talk to Mr. Corey Feldman over here for a little while. Can I ask Corey, you a question? Holy moly. Corey, are you down to hang out for a little bit, talk to these guys? Yeah, why the hell not, man? What am I? What else am I doing on a Monday night? Actually, I was simultaneously watching uh, the NFL game, but I, I like to multitask my leisure, you know? What like a, a fat guy. <laughs> All right, Julian. <laughs> Who who had some questions for Corey? Me, I mean, me, me, me. Yeah, let Julian and uh, Corey. Let's let these two uh, boys talk for a little while. Uh, Julian, Corey, first of all, I loved it. <laughs> Second you. of all, what did you go to college for? I went to college for journalism uh, and <laughs> immediately became a musician. Actually, which I had been doing for the last twenty years. So. How long have you been a comedian? Uh, I've only started doing stand up like this regularly on online and in, at open mics for the last like three or four months. But what do you I've mean like comedy? <laughs> what do you mean like this? You mean like you join Discord servers and do like live comedy? I do live. I do open mics and I do comedy in the metaverse on. Oh, oh shit. comedy in the oh, metaverse <laughs> for Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. That's badass. <laughs> so, would you rather be a comedian or a journalist? Oh, I'd rather be a musician of all of them, but comedian second. Oh, <laughs> wait! I don't can think you, you should can you win the money? Can we? Can can you play <laughs> some music for us? Yeah, well, I do. I do have a few songs. I have some comedy songs. I was thinking about doing one tonight. Do a comedy yes. songs. Do, do, song. do a comedy song, please. Uh, wait, right, can please. you? What are the titles it, of them? It's How all many do you have? <laughs> well. I have, I, have, what's it, what's in? I really have two to choose from that I have memorized. The other two I have written, I, have, I don't have memorized yet. Uh, one is a parody of Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Feeling, but I do Can't Stop the Eating, and that is very related to my my whole thing. Seems uh, like you've typecast yourself. Uh, yeah, it's sort of a – I'm trying not to pitch my, pigeonhole myself too much. So I, I did the other one is a parody of Dua Lipa's Levitating, but I call it Masturbating. So it's a whole different thing, different vibe, you know? <laughs> So can we choose between those two? Yeah, sure. What are the wait? Hold on. What are the other two's names? You mean the, the other, other ones? Of the other two songs? Yeah. Uh, one is "Oh I Get High" uh, about smoking weed to the uh, to the tune of "Oh What a Night." Uh, if you know that that classic. Uh, oh what a night! Do 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 smoking ganja. That's so crystal. Sounds like you know that one. That's a good one. Well, I know I know some of that one. That's not. <laughs> 
for memorized. And what do you guys? What, which one do you guys want? I feel like wait, the, he's got he's got to say the the last name. Oh, the last one. Right, right. Sorry. The last one is uh, what's the last one? Oh, it's um, it's the 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 proud Mary is the the parody song, and instead of it being rolling, rolling, rolling down the river, it's scrolling, scrolling, scrolling social media. I would I would love to hear that one, but you don't have that one memorized. No, I do not. I could read it off of a off of a document. I, file, but I, I trust Julian's instincts there. though. Out of those out of the two that he can do, which one would you like to hear? Uh masturbating. I already heard the fat joke, so I think masturbating would be more entertaining. Yes. Yes. That's true. Would would you be right. willing to perform that song for us tonight? Yeah, I, I could do it for, for Do sure. not do any visual gags, please. No visual gags. Uh with I, your I, wiener I, out. There's no strap-ons involved. There's no there's no nudity. It's just it's just me in a d- fucking minion shirt. A okay. And a guitar. Well then then you oh. can do visual gags. Just don't really <laughs> masturbate. All right, all right. Here we go. Oh, he's got the guitar right there. Oh my god. <laughs> got the guitar on hand. I think we've been bamboozled. <laughs> he's actually a musician. <laughs> yeah. If you want to jingle jang your junk, I think it's sexy and your hand can take your four-road ride. Swinging it and snaking it and jerking the gherkin, you make a one-eyed monster cry. Jizz him in a ride, jizz him in the sky, messy just the way you bike. If you want to get a little silly with your wheelie, you need a little bit of me time. You want to, you got to, baby. You're shucking corn, you're masturbating the Milky Way. You're exasperating, yeah, 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 yeah. I need you. Right hand up, fingers up, palm and I need you. Left hand, come on and tickle me. I'm masturbating you. Right hand up, fingers up, palm and I need you. Left hand, come on and tickle me. I'm masturbating. All right. This next one. Like Bob and Tom. Push your button, double click, dot your eye until it's like take a self guided tour. If you want to jam out with your clam out and you're chilling while you're chilling off all over the floor. Dial in the rotary, clutching toes orgasmic, but you know that you just want some more. Fingers ain't enough, the cum is getting tough, it's time for a vibrator. You want to, you got to baby, you're flicking bean, you're masturbating the Milky Way, you're exasperating, yeah, 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 yeah. I need you, right hand and fingers up, palm and I need you. Left hand, come on, menage a moi. I'm masturbating you. Right hand, okay, I, I get the point. And I need you. Left hand, come on, menage a moi. You're masturbating. You can rub a nub yourself tonight. You can slam a hand. He's wearing a Kirby hat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> where, where you get out of little Tokyo? I already you can asked rub about a nub it. Yourself tonight. You can slam a hand yourself tonight. Give yourself Mega a fag. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Your dildo is a rocket, it can blast off. Batteries electric come your ass off. Even if you wanted to, you can't stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your battle is a rocket, it can blast off. Batteries electric come your ass off. Even if you wanted to, you can't stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my god. I did not expect this to be just the whole three minute song. <laughs> It's great. He's got the longer than he did comedy. <laughs> this is great. You can rub a nub yourself tonight. Oh my God. Another verse. Give yourself a go. He's got this memorized. I need you. Right hand, fingers up, palm, and I need you. Left hand, coming so hard. You're masturbating. Wow. Yes. Oh my God. I mean, come on. Give it up for that. That was really something special. Hey, um, I got something to say, uh, CJ. The first, was part, of, first, the was... first part of your set was. Uh, Whoa, what's up with your hair? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Can you show us your hair again? <laughs> Wait, tilt, tilt, your, uh, tilt your head forward, please, slightly. Okay. All right. Thank really, you. Really, nigga? Hard to do. Do you wear the Kirby hat outside? I, I wear all of this everywhere. No really? this way. Isn't a, this isn't you... a visual gag. This is this. I mean, I mean, if you look me up on social media, you will find pictures of me in this hat in a variety of situations. What about the shirt? Uh, yeah, the shirt too. Uh, this is I. I do I do kids music uh, a lot of the time. So this I is can like, tell. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but you know, I've, I've definitely worn this on stage before. Do you do you did you write that song for like health class? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, yeah, say, that, 
I'm going to say that the first part of your set, like I was not going to, I was suffering. Like you were talking about how you were su- how you're suffering during exercise. Not going to lie, I was suffering. But as soon as you started getting to like <laughs> the next part of the set, like it was really good. And then the, the, like the, the singing part. Yeah, just the, yeah. The music, um, the singing part was just fucking brilliant. Um, and CJ Saddam, sorry, Hashish is just destroying my DMs. And <laughs> also big. Uh, what does that have to do with it? <laughs> oh, he's back in. Okay, we got we got Hashish back in here. What's up, Hashish? I, I think, Hashish. I think he wants to join in as well. Hashish, look at it. it's Wait, you. Wait, trying to join in as well? Oh, Big, big Bauer. Bauer. Okay, Big Bauer. Okay. But to add to that, um, your 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 comedy was like those 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 parody songs were brilliant. Like they they remind me of um just of a modern version of of World Al Yankovic. You know, just you know, pre diabetic. Um, <laughs> I, I think it, I think I think you I think you really could make this a a um a a like I, I definitely think you can go far with this you know I really want to this whole point was to roast was to roast comedians and I can't what I, the first... what do you mean what are you talking about Harry <laughs> fucking alive that I can't, I can't I, other than your outfit which really is just like if I saw someone but you know with that outfit I'd be like yeah. Chris Hansen knows them, but um, that's what I was. No, so uh, that was literally the exact same thought I had. I was like, if I saw this person on the street, I'd be like, this is clearly a pedophile. Like I've never <laughs> seen somebody look like, more what, what? like. Uh, see, he is, he is full beard. He is full beard. Mustache is pedophile. The full beard is no. Full it's on. it has nothing to do with it's any of that. Hat. It's the curvy hat <laughs> and the Despicable Me T-shirt. Like why? And the you... masturbation song. Would you like to see my collection of hats? I will yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, tour. please. House okay. tour. Oh my God. <clears throat> I want to know everything about this guy. I love this. I think this. He, this guy needs to stay. This I, is... Honestly, you, should, you, should, you, need to keep this, you need to keep this guy on the Discord. I think this guy would be brilliant. Brilliant. What I think you should write a song about Harry. <laughs> I uh, I just grabbed whatever I could whatever I could right off the top, but I got my Deadpool. Deadpool, Timmy Tonga. I got Cool as Cal Rissian. I don't get that. It's not racist. I swear. Hey, why would it? Why would that be racist? Am I really cool as Calrissian? Really? Really? That's it's pretty bold. <laughs> yeah, you are as cool as him. Got to spoil my Grateful Dead. That's my purple. Oh, I got I got Deadpool also in beanie form. Got two Deadpools. Jimmy <laughs> Changa times two. Uh, got Crum from uh, Aerial Monsters. These are the winter ones. Mm. Dude, you would be friends with Doug. <laughs> yeah, he would be friends with Doug. Doug, Doug has a nibbler hat. I love this gun. A Dukin. That one's hey, badass. Can, can you do a Deadpool uh, uh, voice impression? Yeah. Never tried to do a Deadpool. Oh, can you, can you do any... Like oh, Ghostbusters hat. Cool, cool, cool. It's very sick. My sister has that. Got the cat, got the got the tail too. And I just got one of these on eBay from like some some store in China. Wait, like wait, what is, what is your finger what is covering that? up? What is your finger covering up? Oh, okay, that's what your finger Normal. is covering up. I don't know where that came from actually. It's is just been on okay. for like the last uh, four years. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know where it came from. Okay, right. I, I, I like it. Oh yeah. That's straight up naked, naked juice. Get your get your interesting. Fucking uh, good thing. Naked. Like a called Aqua Cherry from Long Island. They're pretty good. And then classic. Whoa, okay. Zelda. Can I? Can oh, Zelda. Let me let me ask you a question. This might be a little personal. Sure. But, um, are you in a polyamorous relationship? <laughs> I am not. I am in a monogamous relationship. Are you? Oh, I was gonna say, are you in any relationship? What does that mean? I'm getting married in seven months, actually. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Actually, say, you told me. you're an inspiration. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we're, we're only together for ten years, so don't worry. Can about she it. come on cam? <laughs> she would never in a million years come on camera. Why? <laughs> Why not? She is not? She is camera shy. She is performance we... shy. She's the opposite of what this is. The, what Can you two do a roast battle? Of a badass. Each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed that one. I Let said, me... "Can you two do a roast battle?" <laughs> No, she would. She would freeze up. She's Here, not- let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. We're gonna we're gonna need you for a lot of things in the future. I want you. I want you around. Will you stick around this community? I feel like we could get a lot of use out of you. 
<laughs> maybe I, I'd like to get to know the community a little bit because I'm just starting in comedy and I'm like, we're all this nice. Is, this is that part where it's yeah. just like, I just take whatever comes to me. Well, do you uh, see, you see this guy, Yasprala <laughs> down here? You see this guy, Yasprala <laughs> down here? He posts children massacre videos in the discord. No, is I don't. Of, is, is, that the, is that the type of community that wait, you like? Wait, wait, wait. What are you? Stop making accusations <laughs> yeah. like that. You fucking it's, scumbag. He's lying. He's lying. Dude, he just wants me, he wants me right, banned. Well, here, tell you me. what, tell you what. We might get you back in here at some point, so stick around. I'm going to try to get the Fernandam in here. Uh, okay. I'm going to see if they got their stuff. But thank you so much. Appreciate having you. You rock. You rock. We I love you. I love you, bro. I'll never We're forget We're all like you. Louis C.K., except we don't do any whacking. <laughs> okay, and then on that note. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, were you able to work out your microphone, Fernandam? Hello, hello. It's like hashish. Let's see here. She is <laughs> muted. I don't know if she's here right now. Um, how, let me see. how many more people do we have? I think this might be it for the night. This might be our last one for the night. How many were there? Uh, there were like seven. And then... Okay, well, I think I came in at the best time. You did. Come I'm in here. At the best it time. worked. Oh, perfect. Yo. Okay, so could you turn uh, your camera on, yeah, please? Yeah, camera. Yeah. Okay. okay, and what what was your name again? Fernanda. Fernanda. Okay, Are you everybody, shut by up, channel? shut up, shut the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> now everybody, bringing, uh, CJ is bringing to the stage Fernanda to do five minutes of comedy. Fernanda, give it up, everybody. Woo! Thank you, guys. Woo! Yeah. So, see, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, to me, like, the whole world is a buffet of men. And going on dating apps, specifically Tinder, is like going straight for the pastry section. Like, nothing in there is going to cover my basic needs. And it's yeah. going to go straight to my ass. <laughs> now, uh, as I said, yep. I'm Fernanda Gutierrez. I live in Mexico. And I live like... In the fancy yeah. Mexico, okay? I live in the Caribbean. So everything about here nice. is so great. It's so perfect. It's like the sun and the heat. And I just love it because I love doing laundry. It took me one week to realize I was living in the best place on earth. Like, you start at 8 a.m., everything's ready by 10. I'm like, oh, my God, Playa is the best place to do money laundering. Is it because you're a woman? Oh my god. Let her talk. Yeah, She's doing stand up. Not really Stop heckling. Not actually. We are Stop the money makers, honey. We are the money makers. And I actually moved here because I got married uh, to my ex husband. How and... do you get married to your ex? Do you know what? I Stop just heckling. didn't expect... Stop heckling! I didn't expect that to go the way it went because. I wanted what every woman wants out of their marriage. Like, I wanted to be happy, to travel. Funny. After a couple months in, start planning his accidental death. But oh, it was divorced. Yeah. So now I have my mom giving me all of this dating advice. And I don't see her that much because she actually moved to the States. Tasting the American dream. And to this day, I can proudly say that she made it. After many years of hard work, she finally married a rich white guy. So I listened to her. She's like, listen, do not, do not settle in your 20s living in Riviera Maya. Like, what are you going to get there? A DJ? What a DJ has to offer? Drugs? I'm like, mom, that shit is expensive. <laughs> But she's like, <laughs> she's like just wait until you're in your 30s. Like, who knows? You might end up marrying a doctor. And they have better drugs. <laughs> so I clearly listened to her. And I was having a date with this DJ. And but he was like a first world DJ and we were having dinner at my place and you know it was really romantic like What's wine candles mac and cheese 
uh, and then he's like, where's your dishwasher? I'm like, dishwasher, <laughs> you're in Mexico. Uh, really but I didn't, I wasn't the ready for him to be like, oh, you're like the poor people in my country. So I had to lie a little bit. And I was like, listen, we do things differently here. Uh, it's in the bathroom. He was like, in the bathroom. I'm like, yeah, next to the shower. He couldn't believe it. He grabbed the dishes. Ooh. He walked towards the bathroom. He opened the door. And to his surprise, right in front of him, there was a full-length mirror. You're my dishwasher, motherfucker. Welcome to Mexico. Ah, <laughs> I've been to Mexico. He was like... Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> he was like, you need, you need drugs. Now, this is something that my mother used to tell me, that people who do drugs jump off uh, of windows. I was like, I ain't jumping from no window. And I live on a third floor, so I thought, this, this could be dangerous. So I told him, listen, let's just, um, let's just go to the roof. There are no windows there. Uh, <laughs> so I the roof. We got to the roof. And, <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, I don't know if you've ever done this. But it was amazing, okay? It was like the whole universe and each other. It was like we were all connected yeah. at that moment. We were staring into each other's eyes, but never, never, not even for a second, we felt like jumping out of that roof. <laughs> so I had to push him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Now... That was not the reason why he stopped talking to me. Actually, he stopped talking to me because we had very different views about abortion. Which, I don't know if you know this, but in Mexico, abortion, it's illegal in most states. It's only legal in seven states. And I think that's really fucked up. Like, I think abortion Your should state be in Mexico? Free, Yo, the legal, in Mexico. and they should give you a box of donuts with it. Just That's awesome. Think about it. If it's so bad, it is bad. At least I would like to get some comfort food that just like me at that moment, it's round, delicious, and it's empty in the middle. You have three minutes left. No, no. Is, okay. Was that it? No, you have three minutes no. left. Oh, she's got more. Yeah, let's keep keep so, keep, keep the energy going. Guys, stop heckling her. No, I invited her to the show. I, You're fucking like, disrespecting like, her. What? I'm just like helping that her. I get with time. Yeah, Julian, uh, stop being disrespectful. I usually go for it at restaurants, and people freaks out when they hear abortions and they're eating, and I don't get it. Like to me, abortion clinics are a lot like restaurants. Like, think about it. You could get your own at home if you watch a YouTube tutorial, <laughs> but if you just go there and yeah. pay. You don't have to clean anything afterwards. Uh, oh, so now, you don't even have to you don't even have to support abortions to like this joke. Like I personally never like got in an abortion myself. Like seriously, you could ask my son. Which <laughs> by the way, he's here tonight. I'm glad I didn't have to get a nanny because Woo! Uh, last one, mine, yeah. Our last nanny just quit. She left. Um, now I need to get a new one. I just don't know if I should get a Samsung, LG, Sony. I don't know. <laughs> Did your parents take care of you? It was not the TV? Okay. I just feel like if you're a child that was raised by the TV, you are... You're just settled for life. Like, you can take any punches that life throws at you. Like, my son, when I live in with the TV, I'm like, okay, honey, uh, I'm leaving. I'll be back in three years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you. I'll tell you who your real father is. No, no, I'm kidding. I, I couldn't do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Nazis giggling. Oh. 
Okay, guys, that's all I had for tonight. Oh, yeah. Guys, give it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, terrific. Hold the fuck on, everybody. First of all, I, hey, stop, stop. What the fuck are you doing? Shut the fuck up. Guys, I'm trying to say, listen. I like this. She did an absolutely amazing job. First of all, everybody give a round of applause. I mean, it's yeah. so much Good. fun. People in the chat are loving one. the abortion joke. They're loving a lot of the jokes. I feel like <laughs> the a lot, chat of, people, are loving a lot the of people joke. in this crowd have been extremely fucking disrespectful. They were talking over you. And I think I that agree. that was an extremely unfair thing that they did. Mm -hmm. um, first Julian. of all, I want Hashish to personally apologize while she's here. First of all, let's get Hashish to apologize. I apologize for talking over you. But I really do think I really do think women should stay away from comedy. Yo, shut the fuck <laughs> up! Oh my god! She shut the fuck up, Muslim. I I actually believed that before, but then you proved me wrong by that awesome stand-up comedy. I just wish. Hell yeah! Yeah, so yeah, you. Oh, uh, I know you wanted me to stay away for like no competence, but thank you, Fernanda. Thank you, you so rock. much. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Oh, uh, about a year and a half. Okay, and. Oh, shit. Um, how often are you doing these like digital Zoom shows? This is my second one. Okay. Um. Awesome. Well, listen. I I'm I'm gonna give it to the crowd here. Um. They may have some questions for you. Would you have a minute to maybe answer some questions some from some of the people in the crowd? Uh, hey, hey parking. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Parker. Let's go with Yo Sprala first. Yo Sprala. I've let's... seen what makes you laugh. Okay, so you know how you talked about abortions? And you, <laughs> so yeah. you agree with abortions? Like, yeah. they should be allowed? Yeah. They're not, so they're not real people, right? Like, <laughs> in the stomach? <laughs> like, when the baby's yeah. in the stomach, you're not a real person. <laughs> right? When you were in the stomach, you weren't a real person. You fucking yeah, like, you're not, you have to be born to be a real person. And it's this fine if you can eat babies. Okay, all right. This, we're not, we're not, not having a, a full it. abortion debate right now, you fucking idiot. Okay. <laughs> what about the That's insane. Just Everybody doesn't fucking speak English, so she doesn't shut, know what I'm saying. Hey, shut the fuck up. Okay, Harry. Oh, dude. Harry, do you got any thoughts? Don't worry, don't worry, Fernando. Shut up. Not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. How many abortions have you had? This is Tony. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of yeah, let's get um, let's get Harry. Harry, do you have anything to say? Uh, what were you saying? I think, I think you you did very well for a very unruly crowd that were constantly talking over you. I think you know. I think you're. I think you're relative. You know, some of your jokes were definitely like. That's the sort of comedy I like. I like the dark comedy. I like the comedy that's like. Comedy. Yeah, yeah. Like I like dark jokes. I like quite. You know, it's like messed like that's the sort of humor I like. You know. And yeah, it was it was amazing. I think, you know, I, I just yeah, I think you did well. I, you know, it's keep it up, um, Fernanda. I think you. Oh yeah, you're yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Very kind Thank words. You. Okay, Julian. The British, Julian, do you uh, have any thoughts? Any thoughts from Julian? Uh, can I can I ask you a question? What crowd was worse, this one or the other one, and the other Discord comedy thing? Who's nicer? Oh, <laughs> uh, I could just like remember both. three thousand dollars is at stake. I obviously you preferred live one. What was that? You like the other one? Yeah, I mean, okay, I, yeah, the thing is, I don't think here, you don't thing like is, I was having some technical problems. I'm I'm using my phone right now, and I it was like <sighs> it was a little confusing. <laughs> How old are you? So, yeah. I'm 29. Oh, I'm man, still in my 20s. All right. You 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 don't have a husband or a boyfriend? Is that what you were saying? You're a, you have an ex-husband? Oh, I have all of those actually. <laughs> oh, you currently have so, a husband then? Your husband? No, I haven't. Well, technically, I haven't gotten divorced, so he's still my husband. Okay. Well, but, do you like British boys? What? 
Do you like British people? Wait, should he's we British. serious? Should we bring Mike British. back in here? British people? Should I bring Mike back uh, in here? By the way, yeah, bring Mike. Sure. Okay, Mike. Mike's back this is in here. Stuff to work with. What's hey, up, Mike? Mike. <laughs> hey, and Mike. He's watching the game. <laughs> hey, I was watching the game. Now. I was not messing around. <laughs> no, you sorry, are not. Sorry, sorry to sorry to interrupt you, Fernando. What were you saying? Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. Shut up, woman. Harry, <laughs> single and ready to mingle is what I was saying. Harry, can you turn on your cam for her? I need okay. to ask her if she finds you physically attractive. That's on, probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, Fernando, would you give Harry a 0 out of 10 rating for us? No, 0 through 10. Oh, look. Oh, Yoss zero has a, a little knife. It's a katana, bitch. I have Suck my dick. Right there. <laughs> oh, Wait, fucking Harry, gun, bitch ass. Harry's okay. the handsome one. Your muzzle, and Asif, ass. if you want to come back yeah. in, too, you're more than welcome. Uh, thank you. Yes, think about Nazi. Um, Wait, let's I let's get a rating. Him. We're getting a rating. Because we got what one is, in here. Is Harry, the guy well, you're the, the one with the dog picture, right? Yeah, me. Well, I have a cat picture, so that kind of settles. Bitch, bitch what's good? <laughs> your Pokemon cards, bro. And your, your little has, bitch fingers. Good. All right. Can you show you your face? Can you, you show your face, though? Between Harry... In, oh, uh, you got a little wax pen? Oh my god, Hashish! Be a part of the fucking program! Hashish, shut the fuck You're up. You're on your own bullshit! God damn. He is. Uh, shut the fuck up! Just be a part of the program, Hashish! Why do you gotta be doing your own fucking spin-off program. shit? He's fucking autistic, that's why he's, he's talking Muslim. about Pokemon cards. Okay, okay. So what was being- Julian, yeah, what were you asking? Yeah. Okay, Fernand, whatever the fuck your name is. Do you pick- Okay, one of these persons has to get shot, and the other one you have to marry. <laughs> Harry- and Mike, which one do you shoot and which one do you marry? And this is Mike right here with the Kirby hat. Come on. Okay, I will shoot Harry oh! just because I will. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Harry's just because I'd rather, just I'd rather fuck a dead person. Is it because oh! he's British? You want to kill him and then fuck his dead body? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. She's You're a fucking floor. freak. You're what a the fucking Jeffrey freak. Dahmer? What the fuck? It is Does Mike. I, I don't think... know when to work. No, no, I don't no, no. Necessarily listen. Have to listen, listen, listen. Dia de los Muertos is coming up. Like, I like that energy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I already have everything ready. Like, the candles and the knife. I actually have it right here. See? Um, box cutter. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any other weapons? I have a machete. You should pull it out. Yo, Can wait, we see the every, machete? <laughs> Let's yeah. see the machete. Mike, do you have any weapons as well? <laughs> I have a weapon. My fucking biceps, bitch. I don't have guns, though. We're, uh, wait, wait. Can we're you please, Mexico, can you please only, get us a machete? Yourself. I want to see you holding a machete. That would make my whole night. Please. I, I, to be honest, I don't know what it is. I know I own one, but I don't know so what it is. So you just have a loose machete in your house somewhere. You don't even know where that is. <laughs> Yes. Don't you have a child? <laughs> Are you afraid he's gonna go around and stab people? Yes. Oh wait, I do have. Wait, I do have one of these. Oh, yeah. what is that? What, what is that? Fuck? Oh, that's that's for the when she cuts people up for the cartel. <laughs> oh, what is that? The fuck is that? Bro, got the blick. <laughs> Uh, I thought I thought someone mentioned Jeffrey Never. What the fucker did you just hold? I'm still I'm like what the <laughs> fuck? Dude, that looks like that? some weird sex toy. What the, hell? what the hell is that? Bud? <laughs> so what does Mike have to do if you're gonna sh shoot and fuck Harry? Where does that leave Mike? Mike gets to fucking watch. Oh, you said married him, so someone's got to pay the bills. <laughs> So Mike just has to sit in the corner and play with his ding dong. Yeah. Wait, is Mike is the, no, he's just gonna sell off his hat. Was that Mike, the one with the hat? Yes. Yeah, he's right next to you. Hat Mike. Uh, yeah, I will totally like sell his uh, his his hat. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, Harry came back on. <laughs> So, 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 now, now I, so now I know that in, in this scenario, I would be the uh, dead and the, fucked. The one, you know, so, you know, I can say that I don't win, you know, because I do. Harry, you know, Harry, show her your house. Show her how rich you are. She'll change her mind. <laughs> yeah. Can no. we get a little room tour, Harry? 
Room tour, room tour, room tour. She's from the third world. She'll yeah. be impressed if you have a light switch. Come <laughs> on. Hey, you want a room but, tour for my yes, home? Room yeah. tour, yeah. Yes, yeah. Room, room tour. Yes, room tour. No, Give us a I'm room a tour. girl. I'm messy. I'm room freaking tour. messy. Room, Let's see tour. How we're messy. room tour. Room tour. No, that is not happening. Why would, no. you, offer? Why would you say anything about it? Mike, you, you can step it. in and say anything you want as well, just so you know. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's messy, like messy, messy. Okay. okay. Here, tell you what. I guys. think this should be a roast for the prize. Um. Here, tell you what. I think it's been a really. I think it's been a nice night. Um. I think that we should end this by having Mike sing his song about how fat he is. I think that'd be a great way to close this evening out. What, what, how does everybody? What do we all think about that? Or do we do we want Mike to sing his song about his obesity? Yeah, you know, get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Make the woman leave. All right. Well, Mike, he is going to perform. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Thank you Shut very up. much, everybody, for coming out tonight. Appreciate you all. You're welcome. And uh, he's closing us out. Everybody give it up for Mike one last time. Let's let's hear him sing this uh, beautiful. Wait, song. Mike. Wait, can Mike put on all his hats while he does it? My name is Corey. Okay, Mike. Corey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike. Whatever. Wait. <laughs> Why did we think his name was Mike? <laughs> Who said the name was Mike? What the Mega fuck? faggot! Why are we calling hey, him can Mike? Can Corey put on all his hats at once and sing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey, put on as many hats as you can. <laughs> yeah, like, let's see what I can handle here. Yeah, Jake, get, a, get a bunch of hats. Put a few hats up here. <laughs> really, <laughs> nigga. Five. Also, CP, should we should we plug their socials in the um, in the stream? Yeah, so yeah. You can... Everybody, um, if you could find their fucking um, their social medias, just fucking um, yeah, type them in the chat. I'll start posting those too. Oh, All yeah, right, Corey. All right, Mike. Ready when you are. <laughs> I can't stop eating. Yeah, I'm big bones. Got mashed potatoes, gravy, and an ice cream cones. I eat so shitty, I feel alone. Now it's a block of cheese most every time I'm stoned. I got some candy in my pocket. Eat a hot dog on the street. The chili relish mustard make it dope. Oh, the bobs and sausage. Yeah, you know I love street meat. I don't think I'll shit myself, at least I hope. I got some fries and fingers up too. I'm getting high and I'm eating this food. You know I swallow if I don't even chew. Just imagine, just imagine, just imagine. Hey! You can see but me. Shut I'm up! Bird creeping up on me because I'm fat, fat, fat. All those things I should not eat. Yeah, I'm fat, fat, fat. Shut up, bitch! Shut up, woman! I eat too much. That kid is not my son! I'm fat, 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 can't stop the eating, cause I'm fat, 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 ooh, it's nothing logical, I'm still eating even though I'm feeling full, shit fire, I suck that whipped cream, straight from the can, suck the whipped cream, the wind buffet won't let me back cause I am banned, I got the hemorrhage in my pocket, I stuff some low in my face, and a pile of bacon to make me feel okay. Oh, uh, chicken. This guy's going places. So what a Damn right he is. Donuts, cupcakes, cookies, tasting great. I got some ribs and onions. Forgot the word. <laughs> <laughs> I got some cornbread and He's still alive. I'm feasting until I turn blue. So just imagine, just imagine, just imagine. Just imagine. Mega faggot. Oh, burgers, pork, chicken, yeah, because I'm fat, yeah. fat, fat. Mega faggot. Lowey pops Robo bitch. Yeah, because I'm fat, fat, fat. I'm yeah. eating till I'm sick now, yeah, because I'm fat, 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 fat. 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 Compulsive overeating. Yeah, I eat too much. Can't stop the eating. Smash the guitar when you're done. I'm fat, fat, fat. <laughs> can't stop yeah. the eating. I'm fat, fat, fat. Ooh. I got this feeling in my body. I'm hungry. Yeah. I got this feeling in my body. Definitely hungry. I could do something right now. I got this feeling in my body. I want a deep fried cheesecake. I got this feeling in my body. Or deep fried fucking sloppy joes. Oh, yeah. Shut up. What is it? 
Mega faggot. Mega faggot. Loving all that fried food. Shut up, bitch. Fat, fat. Technical fat. Yeah, I'm fat, fat, fat. My end game's diabetes. Yeah, because I'm fat, fat, fat. This is a legit eating disorder, guys. Seriously. Shut up. Stop eating. I'm fat, fat, fat. Can't stop eating. I'm fat, 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 come on. That was awesome. Yeah! Corey, yes! you rock. Amazing. Yeah, woo! Yes! Give it up for Corey, Mike, everybody! I'm oh, gonna Mike. break up with my girlfriend and marry you. Okay. Oh my yeah. god, amazing. Well, that's been the show tonight, everybody. Thank y'all. It's been Brown Town Comedy Hour. Yet again. Coming back. We'll be back again. Thank you all for coming. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, everybody. Goodbye. And that was it. Okay, we're going to take a short break, and then I think I'm going to start. I I think I have a couple more stories I want to do. I got a little bit of energy right now, so I think we're going to keep moving and grooving. Uh, But that being said, I'm going to take a bathroom break. I'm going to grab myself a little non-alcoholic beer. And then we're going to get into some stories. We're going to do some story time. Talk about some stuff that I've been thinking about. But that was, you know, the first time we did that. Next time we're going to tune it up a little bit more. I think that had some really fucking funny moments. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Ne- next time, we're, we're, we're going to keep it moving and grooving, man. But I love experimenting and doing, doing different shit. It's just fun. I hope you guys are enjoying the show as much as I am. Do what you want to when you get up in the morning, cause it won't be long before you're dead and gone. Yeah, no, there ain't no telling. Yeah, we all just bet. Just plan our hands till the last stand. So tell your mama you've been spreading honey, won't you? Tell your brother you've been spreading honey, won't you? Tell your sister you've been. All right, we are coming back in a couple of minutes, everybody. You're lazy, but you just might find it's them that's crazy. I'm just raising them rats. I'm making dough get fat, hanging up that hat. No, we ain't living like that. So tell your mama you've been spreading honey, won't you? Tell your brother you've been spreading honey, won't you? Tell your sister you've been spreading honey, won't they? Come along. Spread some honey too, oh won't they? Come along and spread some honey too. Music is so good. It's getting me in the mood. Spread 
some honey too Oh won't you come along and spread some honey too like i'm back everybody okay hello hello uh we are in the late night hours that was the first brown town comedy hour what did you guys think of that i I had a lot of fun with that i thought that was a lot of fun it's been quite the show we've had a lot of ups lots of downs we got raided by tipster we've been having a good time it's been a fun show um i wanted to just talk about a couple different things and then i was gonna get out of here where is the um, okay, I wanted to pull up this clip of this guy, Rose Wrist. So, Rose Wrist came up with maybe the most on-the-fucking-nose analysis of what is wrong with YouTube and content creation and incentive structures. I'd, I'd never really heard somebody sum it up as perfectly as Rose Wrist. So, we're going to go check this person out. First of all, look at this fucking weirdo, man. I mean, this is the type of person that you get in Destiny's community right here. These, like, little fucking 18-year-old Swedish boys that like talking about socialism all day. Oh, so cool. Love that. Um, Did I write the time code in the chat? I did. Okay, so I just wanted to show this to you. This, to me, was, like, one of the most profound um, sort of things that I've heard somebody say about... Um, content creation and incentives. My main issue is the type of content that a creator is incentivized to make. If I do an off-the-cuff reaction to a dumb thing Asan said that I was just randomly sent by a user in my chat, that may very well go on to become one of my most viewed videos of all time. Now, if I sp- okay, maybe I'm gonna scroll back a little bit. And to a dumb thing Asan said to YouTube as a whole, here are some of my issues with the online politics space specifically. Okay, here are some of my problems with the online politics space specifically. Now, let's let's hear what he has to say about this. The main issue is the type of content that a creator is incentivized to make. If I do an off-the-cuff reaction to a dumb thing Asan said that I was just randomly sent by a user in my chat, that may very well go on to become one of my most viewed videos of all time. Now, if I spend a great many hours researching and preparing a segment or a video on an issue of significantly greater social and political relevance, that video will perform, at best, slightly above average, and at worst, among the poorest performing videos on my channel. This is bothersome to me because now there is a fundamental juxtaposition between the videos that are the most fulfilling for me to make versus the ones that perform the best. This was compounded by the fact that I was financially reliant on my YouTube channel. And that created a very perverse incentive structure for myself where I had to weigh viewership and thus making money and getting by against doing what I had a passion for and felt would be that that right there. Okay, so that's the first part of it right here. And this is something I've been noticing, especially in the commentary community where it's okay. It's it's really tough because at the end of the day, what do I want to be spending my time talking about? I want to be talking about hashish. I want to be talking about, you know, this new guy, Corey. Corey felt, you know, this new comedian guy. But the thing is, if I'm talking about these people, nobody cares. Nobody's going to click on the video. I have all the incentive in the world to talk about Amarith, Am- as uh, Keemstar would say. I got to talk about Amarith, otherwise nobody's going to watch my stream. You know, I got to talk about Deaf Noodles. I got to talk about Amarith. I got to talk about Mizkif. You know, and here's the thing. These people don't give a shit. Like, you're going to watch all these other commentary guys. What are they going to do night and day? They're going to be talking about whatever the fucking topic is that works the best for the YouTube algorithm. And we're supposed to believe that, you know, they care so much about this topic. Oh, Amarith got assaulted. Oh my god, it's so horrible. Let me just monetize a video and uh, capitalize off her suffering for a little while. Oh yeah, that's so cool. That's awesome, dude. Nice job, Bo Blacks. You know, this is what these fucking people do. And um, they don't actually fucking care. They have a perverse incentive structure to talk about things that they don't really have a vested interest in. 
except for the fact that it works for the YouTube algorithm. Beneficial for my personal development. This critique is in no way meant to- That, see, that is, tr that's exactly the way that I'm thinking, Parking. It's like, I'm gonna have to, as somebody who's like making YouTube videos, like I, I'm pretty confident that I can entertain an audience, you know what I mean? But really, the name of the game is uh, learning how to care about topics that are going to get you the most engagement. And you have this like really sick incentive structure to start talking about things that you yourself don't necessarily care about. So it's like if, if I want to grow an audience, I have to pick targets based on like, you know, how much fucking clout it's going to give me or whatever. It's... It, it just does, it, 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 it makes me sick, you know? I it, It's just, what I want to do is through the week, I want to get a document together of all the things that made me feel a type of way, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about them. And I don't really think about like, oh, if I talk about X, it's going to give me this amount of clout, um, but it kind of, like, when you're in the YouTube system, it really forces you to think that way, and it really changes who you are and what you care about in a really dark, dark way. Down people that do or have a passion for this more drama oriented content. I still frequently consume this type of media. It's fun and a great source of entertainment. It's just not for me to make. Another thing is that online politics is for the most part relentlessly negative. The general tone I get from online politics. Okay, yeah, so that, that, that was the point I wanted to go on with that. Uh, we're going to do one more thing and then we're going to get out of here. I noticed something very fucking... F okay, so this is a little bit out of left field, okay? Okay, so anybody that knows me knows I love the raccoon guy. The raccoon guy is one of my favorite people. Do you know this guy? So for years, he has been feeding raccoons hot dogs on his porch. And he has a whole YouTube channel. And every single day... He is feeding these fucking coons on his porch. Look at this. So his name is James Blackwood. Look at this. The picture right there, it's a bunch of raccoons. Um, oh, shit. Fuck, why do I keep fucking that up today? Um, yeah, so we got James, James Blackwood, raccoon whisperer. This guy posts about his raccoons every fucking day. Look at this. 29 minutes ago, one day ago, two days ago. This is his whole life. His whole life is dedicated to these fucking raccoons. He loves them. He just sits on his porch. He feeds them fucking hot dogs every single day. And you, you might have seen some of these videos because they are super, super popular. So sort by most popular. Mobbed by raccoons. Okay, so this, this is what his videos look like. Check this shit out. And they're getting whole hot dogs. There's no half. There's no halves. <laughs> We're getting whole hot dogs. Yeah, so you're see you're seeing these raccoons, and you know I we watched a video a day ago, and look at these fucking raccoons. Uh, look at these fucking things. Here, ready? That's bandit. Here, they're all coming now. You ready? Here. These things are fucking obese. This guy has been overfeeding his raccoons. These raccoons are fat. They're diseased. They have illnesses. This guy is killing them slowly. He has a sick fetish for feeding raccoons to the point where they explode, like the scene from Monty Python and uh, The Meaning of Life, the French waiter. That's what he's doing to these raccoons. Oh, you missed out. Here, throw another one at you. Go get it. There you go. This is, this is, I, I, I mean, some people would say that overfeeding animals is fucking. That's the, that's, that's the abuse. Boys. This is animal abuse, right? I thought that was banned and those eyes are different. That is the Westful boys. I mean, hot dog, like, you can't feed somebody hot dogs every day. Boy, they sure got big. Well, you think you could feed them hot dogs because they're, like, lesser to you? You look at them like they're trash? They sure got big. Yeah. Look at those big chunkos. Here. Look at the fucking junk in that trunk there right there. That is the fucking fattest. That is the fattest fucking ass on a raccoon I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Look at the booty on that fucking thing. Where's Look your at brother? That. that thing looks like fucking Lizzo. Your brother one. 
Look at that thing. He's not done. You ready Shake for another one? There you go. Oh, we got somebody else He's coming now. Dog. Shake a thing on it. Oh, that's Woody. Woody. Hi, Woody. Just a minute. Here you go. This guy, I mean, his whole life is dedicated to these raccoons. They don't, they'll fucking eat his ass when he dies. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about you, these you stupid ass raccoons. The you did. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. No. Here you go. Look at that. So I, I'm just trying to bring that to your guys' attention. Um, people are letting this guy slide because it's good content. You get, you see an old guy feeding hot dogs to raccoons, but I'm just saying, man, like, look at this logically. These things look overfed. Um, I think he might be abusing these animals and frankly, he might be actually sexually assaulting these, uh, raccoons as well. Uh, he might be getting them close enough where he can lick their anus and, um, he loves licking those raccoon butt cheeks, spreading that fucking tail open, rip it open, get that tongue a licking. You know what I mean? That's why he's feeding them the hot dogs because it creates like a nano chemical on the ass. It, gets you, it makes you start tripping. This guy's like really just a sick, sadistic feeder. He's trying to suckle their energy. He's like demonic. This guy has been reading fucking... Um, demonic verses i bet that there's a whole basement area in this guy's house it's kind of like a big killing room you know what i mean this guy he he's <laughs> you go down to his basement he, uh you see fucking raccoon their skin is like ripped open and you can see the heart is like attached to a monitor and it's like still beating and the fucking the eyes of the raccoon they're held open like um like a clockwork orange because what he's doing, he's trying to gain their trust, and then he's going to betray them. And it's like, people are just let. This is like, this works for Ready YouTube for TOS, one? I guess. There's yours, your brother. There's Woody, standing up. Here, Woody. Here you go, bud. Honestly, this is the type of content I watch when I'm not <clears throat> doing the stream or whatever. I mean, I'm just watching, like, raccoon videos and other stuff I watch include live birds' nests. Do you guys do this? This, Honest to God, this is what I watch. Look at this. Oh, shit, look at that. This is, literally, this is the best live stream content you're going to find right now. It's just like a fucking live bird just hanging out up here. Look at this. Look at that. You can just watch a live bird in its nest. Thing's a fucking falcon. And there's like tons of these. So this is 1,700 views right now. Are there more live nest? Live bird 4K. Nothing on this feeder. That's the thing. If you're into like bird watching YouTube, you got to go from fucking, you got to go from feeder to feeder. You know, because sometimes the bird feeder, there's no birds on it. Like I'm assuming this one is empty. Look at all these fucking empty nests. Look at all these fucking empty nests. What about this one? Look at these boring... See what I mean? Like, sometimes bird YouTube is fucking bullshit. This is 35 views. There's probably nothing going on in here. Nothing. You know what I mean? Brook Falls. Oh, shit. Live bears. But yeah, that, that's pretty much what I do, and that is going to be the show tonight. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, peace out. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, I'll try to come back soon in the next couple days. Um, but for now, peace out, everybody. Take it easy. Let's do break music, and then we go to...